most of the time we are going to take the tan of an angle that means this is a triangle this is theta then this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse and this is base so most of the time we are going to take tan theta that is perpendicular by base most of the time sometimes we may take sin theta cos theta most of the time the questions are solved like this so a tower stands vertically on the ground so what we have to do is we have to make a figure so 50 percent of uh, the solution is making the figure if you are able to make the figure correctly then the problem will not be that much but the figure is very important so you have to make a figure first that is a tower stands vertically on the ground a tower stands vertically on the ground so if this is a ground this is a tower from a point on the ground say this point is on the ground 20 meter away from the foot of the tower so it is 20 meter away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation so when we see up it is angle of elevation that is from here to here and when from here to here we look down this is angle of elevation but when we look down this is the angle of depression so the angle changes but this angle and this angle because these two are parallel lines this angle and this angle will be equal because of the alternate angles between the parallel lines of a transversal so even if the depression is given this angle will, will take even if the elevation is given we will take this angle so what is the angle of elevation here of the top of the tower this is 60 degree so what is the height of the uh, height of the tower so let us assume this, this to be height of the tower as h so what we are going to do as i just suggested we will take tan 60 tan 60 is what perpendicular by base that is h by 20 so tan 60 is tan 60 is what it is root 3 h by 20 so what do you get h equal to 20 root 3 so this is the answer sometimes it is uh, in the question is it is being asked so they may ask that up to two decimals you have to answer so what you can do here is most of the time root 3 and root 2 will come so for root 3 you can take 1.732 for root 2 you can take 1.414 so here you can take root 3 as 1.732 and just multiply this is what you can do but this answer is also acceptable the angle of elevation of a ladder against a wall is 60 degree so angle of elevation of a ladder against a wall so let us make a wall and a ladder this is a wall this is a ladder and the angle of elevation is 60 degree and the foot of the ladder is 9.5 away from the wall so if this is the wall it is 9.5 meter away from the wall find the length of the ladder so again what we are going to use we are going to use tan 60 this is going to be this height say uh, oh right now here the things change we have to find out the length of the ladder so what we have to do see this is your hyper, hypotenuse and this is your base so hypotenuse and base what trigonometric ratio we can use we can use the cos angle so cos 60 we are going to use is base upon hypotenuse that is 9.5 by hypotenuse that is the length of the ladder so let us take it as l l will, l will be what because we know that cos 60 is half cos 60 is half so this half goes up means 2 goes up so 9.5 into 2 is 19 meter so length of the ladder is 19 meter but you have to write like this okay i am just giving you the logic and the idea how to solve it but this is how you have to write in your examination and in your uh, when you are doing the homework a ladder is placed along a wall of a house such that its upper end is touching the top of the wall so there is a wall and there is a ladder which is touching the upper of the wall up, up of the wall or top of the wall so this is the wall and this is your ladder the foot of the ladder is two meter away from the wall so this is the foot of the ladder this is the top of the ladder so it is around two meter away from the from the uh, wall the ladder is making 60 degrees so this is 60 degree from the level ground determine the height of the wall so now you have to find the height of the wall this height so let us take it as h from here to here this point to this point so again we will use 10 60 10 60 will be what perpendicular by base height of the wall by 2 meter 10 60 as we know that it is equal to root 3 so you can just write root 3 equal to h by 2 h will be equal to 2 root, root 3 this is the answer so this is how you have to do it an electric pole is 10 meter high a steel wire to top of the pole is affixed at a point on the ground to keep the pole upright if the wire makes an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal through the foot of the pole 
find the length of the wire. Now here what is the scenario? We have a electric pole. There is a wire being attached and it is firmly fixed so that it remains, this pole remains straight here or fixed here. So the angle it is making is 45 degrees. So this is your pole, electric pole and this is your wire. So the wire is making 45 degree and what is the distance, uh, what is the length of the electric pole? It is 10 meter. It is 10 meter. So we have to find out this length of the wire. So we have to find this one. So here we have this is as hypotenuse and this is what perpendicular. So perpendicular and hypotenuse, where do you get? You get in sine theta. Sine theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse. So you use sine 45 degree. Sine 45 is what? Perpendicular upon hypotenuse, 10 by h. Or you can say, uh, because this is not height, this is length. Length of the, because you have to find the length of the wire, so I am taking it as L. What is seven, uh, sine 45? It is 1 by root 2. It is 10 by L. What do you get L? L as 10 root 2. This is the answer. A kite is flying at, an high, at a height of uh, 75 meters from the ground level. Attached to a string inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal. Find the length of the string to the nearest meter. So here there is a kite. Now this kite is flying at a height of 75 meters. So it is at a height of from here to here it is 75 meters. From this point to this point. From the level ground attached to a string which is making 60 degree to the horizontal. So this is 60 degree it is making. This is your string and there is no slack. This is 60 degree and this is the height above the ground. Find the length of the string. So we have to find the length of the string. This is why we have to find. Again, we'll use the sine one, but here the angle is 60 degree. So this is perpendicular. This is hypotenuse. So sine 60 is perpendicular upon hypotenuse, which is 75 by L. Seven, sine 60 is root 3 by 2 equal to 75 by L. What do you get? L as 75 into 2 by root 3. You can multiply root 3 and root 3 we can, because we don't leave the root in the denominator most of the time. So L equal to 75 in, into 2 root 3 and this root 3 and root 3 will become 3. So this is 3 to the 6, 3 5 is a 15, 3 to the 6, 3 5 is a 15 and 25 into 2 is 50. So it will be 50 root 3. Length will be 50 root 3. The length of a string between a kite and a point on a a point on a, a point on the ground is 90 meters. If the string makes an angle of theta with the ground level such that tan theta is given as 15 by 8, how high is the kite? Assume that there is no slack in the string. So here the scenario is the length of the string between kite and a point on the ground is 90 meter. So here is from here to here it is 90 meter. This is the length of the string, string of the kite. So here is your kite. If the string makes an angle of theta, this is theta and it is given that tan theta is 15 by 8. How high is the kite? So we have to find this height of the kite, right? So how you are going to get this? See, uh, we will do it in the, uh, in two ways. First of all, the tan theta is given, tan theta is given. So let us assume this to be x from here to here. I'm just taking it. You can take y or anything. So tan theta is perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is h. Base is x. h by x. Tan theta is what? 15 by 8. It is h by x. What is x? x is, I'm taking 8 by 15. So it will be 8 h by 15. This is the first sequence. The second is, see, we have to find out the height. We have to find out the height. So what we will do here is we will take another angle but since I can take if we, even if I take another angle say sin theta or cos theta say sin theta I am taking. Sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse h by 90 but, but sin theta is not known. Cos also I can take but it is not known. So it is better that I solve it using the Pythagoras theorem. So x is now 8 h by 15. This is h, this is 90. Now I am going to use the Pythagoras theorem. So 8h by 15 whole square means this side square plus this side square that is h square is going to be 90 square. This will be 64h square by 15 225 
plus h square equal to 90 square. What do we get? We get this one. So I'll just take this as common. It is going to be 64 h square plus 225 h square equal to 90 square into 225 that is 15 square. So I will take h square common. So 64 plus 225 this is going to be 9 289 289 equal to 90 square into 225. So h square will be equal to 90 square let it be 15 square only by 289. And I'll take the square root of this. See 90 square, so 90 will come. 15 square, so 15 will come out. And 289, 289 is what? It is 17 square. It is 17 square, so 70 will come out. This will be 17. This is going to be 289 can be written as 17 square. So we have all these square. When we take root, 90, 15, and 19 into 15 by 17 will come. So this is your answer. You can just solve it. It will be 79.41. Or uh, you can take it to whatever decimal you want. A vertical tower stands on a horizontal place and is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff. So there is a vertical tower. This is a tower and there is a flagstaff. It's surmounted by a vertical flagstaff. At a point on the plane 70 meter above, uh, 70 meter away from the tower. So we are coming 70 meter away from the tower. An observer, so here is an observer. He notices that, that the angle of elevation of the of the meters away from the flagstaffs, that is 70 meter away, is 60 degree and 45 degree. So just let just let me know what do you think that which angle will be higher? This angle will be higher, this will be less. This will be 45 degree and this will be 60 degree. Right? So we have to find the height of the flagstaff and the tower. So let us uh, take it as say y and this is x. So first we will take this triangle. You have to properly name the triangle. Okay, I am just telling you how to do it. But you have to give all the names like a, b, c, d, all these, right? So what is tan 45? I am taking this triangle. Tan 45 is what? It is perpendicular by base, x by 70. But tan 45 is 1. So you get x equal to 70. So the height of the tower is 70. Now let us come here. This big tri triangle. What is tan 60? It will be perpendicular that is y plus x by base that is 70. Tan 60 is what? Tan 60 is root 3. So root 3 will be equal to y plus x. Y x is what? 70 by 70. So what do you get? I am taking this here. 70 root 3 equal to y plus 70. I am bringing it here. 70 I am taking common root 3 minus 1 equal to y. So this y will be equal to or this height of the flagstaff will be 70 root 3 minus 1. You can use this uh, root 3 as 1.732 and solve it. You will get 51.24. So 1 is 70, 1 is 51.24. Next is a vertically straight tree. So we have a tree 15 meter high, so from here to here it is 15 meter. It is broken by a wind in such a way that its top touches the ground. So it breaks say from here. And now it is like this, lying like this. This is making 60 degree. If this whole, we, we take it as x from here to here. What this will be 15 minus x. Because from here to here it is 15. So if I take it as x, it will be 15 minus x. So what we can do, do here is, this is perpendicular, this is hypotenuse, so I can take sin 60. Sin 60 will be equal to this x by 15 minus x. So this uh, will be sin 60, sin 60 is root 3 by 2. This is going to be x, 15 minus x. So I, I can multiply this, root 3 into 15, 15 minus x equal to 2x. This will be 15 root 3 minus root 3x equal to 2x. I am bringing it here. So 15 root 3 will be equal to 2x plus root 3x. I am taking x common. So it will be 2 plus root 3. Now I am bringing this down in order to find x. x will be equal to 15 root 3 
plus 2 plus root 3. So now I will not leave this uh, root in the denominator. So I have to multiply or rationalize it. So every time when we have say a plus b, then we multiply it by a minus b to rationalize it. If you want to get rid of the root. So you have to multiply 2 minus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 here. Numerator, denominator. So what do you get? Uh, this is a plus b, a minus b. So a plus b, a minus b, it will be a square minus b square. So what do you get here? 2 square minus root 3 whole square. This will be 4 and this is minus 3. This is going to be 1. Right? What do you get in the numerator? This is 1. So x will be equal to 15 root 3, 2 minus root 3. Just multiply root 3 inside. So it will be 15, uh, 2 root 3, root 3 minus root 3 is 3. So this is your answer. A vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and it is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height 5 meter. At a point on the plane, the angle of elevation of the top and bottom of the flagstaff are respectively 30 degree and 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. So we have a tower here. There is a flagstaff here. From a point here, the angle of elevation of the top and bottom. So this is 30 degree. And this is 60 degree. But the height of flagstaff is given. So this is 5. So let us assume this to be h from here to here. And this is x. First I am taking this tower, uh, this one. Smaller one. So it will be tan 30 equal to h by x. What do you get? Tan 30 as 1 by root 3 equal to h by x. So you get x equal to root 3h. This is your first equation. Now I am taking the bigger triangle. This is 60 degree. So tan 60 is 5 plus h. Means whole I have to take by x. Now tan 60 I will replace by root 3. 5 plus h. What is x? This is, it is root 3h. So I will put root 3h. Right. Let us multiply here. Root 3 into root 3 is 3h equal to 5 plus h, bring it here, 3h minus h is 5, 3h minus h is 2h equal to 5, h is equal to 5 by 2. So this is what you are going to get, 5 by 2 that is 2.5 meter. A person observed the angle of elevation of a tower as 30 degree. He walked 50 meters towards the foot of the tower along level ground found the angle of elevation of the top of the tower as 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. So first he found to be 30 degree, then the angle increase. So he might have gone, this is say, this is 60 degree. So when he, he has gone, I'll, I'll just show you. This is the tower. Now he is here. He is uh, seeing the angle as 60 degree. Now he moved 50 meter backwards. This angle is going to be 30 degree. The logic is, the near you are to the wall or a tower, the angle will be higher. The, the more you go uh, away from this uh, tower or anything, which is uh, the straight one, the angle will decrease. That is how I identified that this angle has to be 60 degree, this angle has to be 30 degree. So let us take this from here to here as x and this as h. We have to find the height. So we have to eliminate this x. First, I'll take it this 60 degree, so 10 60 degree. I'm taking this triangle first. 10 60 is h by x. 10 60 is root 3. So x will be equal to h by root 3. Why? Because I have to eliminate eliminate x. So I'm, I'm taking h as h by root 3. Now let us take this one. This triangle. 10 30 is equal to h by. Now I have to take this one, x plus 50 x plus 50. 10, 30 is what? It is 1 by root 3. h by, x is what? h by root 3. Now bring this here. 1 by root 3 into h by root 3 plus 50 equal to h. So what do you get? h by root 3 into root 3 is 3 plus this is 50 by root 3 equal to h. Now bring this here. 50 by root 3 
will be equal to h minus h by 3. What do you get? 3h minus h by 3. It is 2h by 3. And what do you get? I am taking this 2 by 3 here. So h will be equal to 50 by root 3 into 3 by 2. Now let us multiply root 3 root 3 in the numerator denominator. What do you get? 50 into 3 into root 3 by 3 into 2. Root 3 root 3 is 3. 2. 2 is already there. 3 3 cancels. This is 25. So what do you get? 25 root 3. This is the answer. The elevation of the sun is 45 degree. It is found to be 10 meter longer when it is at 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. So the question is that you can take on other side or same side. It, it uh, totally depends on you. So the shadow of tower and the angle of elevation of the sun. So if this is sun and this is tower. Now the shadow of a tower from uh, when the angle of elevation is 45 degree. So one angle is this one and one angle is this one. So which one be which one will be less? 45 degree. And this is found to be 10 meter larger. So this is 10 meter larger. This distance is 10 meter larger than it was 60 degree. Find the height of the uh, tower. So let it be h. If this is 10, we can take it as x. Now I'm taking first the uh, rather this should be like this. So we have a triangle like this. This is 45 degree. This is 60 degree. This is 10 and this is x and this is h. So I'm taking first the bigger triangle. Why? Because 1045 is 1. So 1045 is what? It is going to be equal to 1045 will be equal to h by this whole 10 plus x, 10 plus x. And we know that 1045 is 1. So we get 10 plus x equal to h. We'll use it. This implies 1, first equation. Now we'll use the second triangle, this triangle. Here, 1045, now 1060 is equal to h by x. 1060 is root 3. So root 3 equal to h by x. So what do you get? h equal to root 3x. And uh, we have to find out the height of the tower. So we are going to eliminate x. So we'll put x as h minus 10 here from this equation. So h root 3 will put x as h minus 10. What do we get? h equal to root 3h minus root 3 into 10 or 10 root 3. Let us bring this one here and this one here. So we get 10 root 3 equal to root 3h minus h. Take h outside root 3 minus 1 is 10 root 3. Now bring this down. h will be equal to 10 root 3 by root 3 minus 1. So we can't leave this root uh, in the denominator. So we multiply root 3 plus 1 and root 3 plus 1 numerator and denominator. So we get 10 root 3 into root 3 uh, that is 10 into 3 30 plus 10 root 3. And what do you get? Let it be like this. First we will cancel it then we will solve root 3 minus 1 root 3 plus 1. So root 3 minus 1 root 3 plus 1 is a square minus b square. Root 3 square is 3 minus 1. So we get 2. So what do you have? 10 root 3 root 3 plus 1 by 2. This is 2 5. 5 is a 10. So what do you get? 5 root 3 root 3 plus 1. Now multiply root 3 inside. 5 root 3 into root 3 is 3 and this is root 3. So this is your solution. This is your height. This is your height. If you want, root 3 can be taken as 1.732 and you can find out the answer in the decimal form also. A parachute is descending vertically and makes an angle of elevation 45 degree and 60 degree at two observing stations 100 meter apart from each other on the left side of himself. Find the maximum height from which he falls and the distance of point where he falls on the ground from the just observant point. So here we have the parachute. It is at a height of h. There are two points, one, two, and one is at 60 degree, one at one is at 45 degree. That is the angle of elevation from this point is 45 degree, from this point is 60 degree. And they are 100 meter apart. So this is 100 meter. So let us take the height as h from the ground above up, and x is the distance of the first point from the uh, the just below point of B. 
So this is x and this is h and this is 100. So as I said, we have already done this type of question in the previous uh, question. So what we will do, we will take 1045 first. 1045 will be what? I am taking this triangle A, B and C. So 1045 is perpendicular that, that is h by base 100 plus x. We know that 1045 is 1, so h will be equal to 100 plus x. This is our first equation. Coming to this second second triangle, this triangle that is BDC, we have 1060 degree is perpendicular by base h by x. What is 1060? 1060 is root 3. So we get h, h as root 3x. Or you can say x we can take as root uh, this h by root 3, right? x is h by root 3. Now put it here in the first equation. The second equation has to be put here. So h plus h, h is equal to 100 plus x is h by root 3, right? Bring it here. h minus h by root 3. So we'll take, I'm taking the left hand side. Take h outside. It will be 1 minus 1 by root 3. So what do we get? Root 3 minus 1 by root 3. So h into root 3 minus 1 by root 3 equal to 100. Now take this up and take this down. So this will be root 3 by root 3 minus 1. Right? So we get 100 by root 3 minus 1. But we have to uh, rationalize it. We can't keep root 3 minus 1 in the denominator. So we will multiply root 3 plus 1 in the numerator and the denominator. So here we get root 3 whole square minus 1. That is, we will get 2 in the denominator. So 2 is the denominator, root 3 plus 1 remain here, 2 50s are. So 50 root 3 plus 1 is the answer. You can take root 3 as 1.732 and you can get the answer like this in the decimal form. On the same side of a tower, two objects are located. When observed from the top of the tower, their angles of depression are 45 degrees and 60 degrees. If the angle of uh, if the height of the tower is 150 meters, find the distance between the objects. So here we have a tower and if you see that when we have an angle of depression, that means we see downwards. So when it is seen downwards, it is 45 degrees. So this angle also will be 45 degrees because of the alternate angle between the two parallel lines of the transversal. And this 60 degree, this will also this will also be 60 degree because of the again same reasoning. This is 150. We have to find the distance. This x has to be found out. So let us take this as y, this BD as y, and DC as x, and AB is of course 150. So what we are going to do is we are going to Eliminate this y because we have to find x and 150 is already given. So let us take the first triangle that is ABC bigger triangle. So triangle ABC gives us a 1045 10 degree which is perpendicular by base. So 150 by y plus x. And 1045 is 1, so we get y plus x as 150. This is our first equation. Coming to second equation 60 degree. So we are taking now triangle ABD. Triangle ABD. 1060 is perpendicular by base. 150 by uh, 150 by y. 150 by y. So as I said, we have to eliminate this y. So 1045 is uh, 1060 is root 3 is 150 by y. Y will be equal to 150 by root 3. Now we are going to put this y here in this equation. So y is uh, 150 by root 3 plus x equal to 150 and we have to find x so take this here x equal to I am taking 150 outside what do we get 1 from here and 1 by root 3 from here so we get 150 root 3 minus 1 by root 3 multiply root 3 root 3 in the numerator and denominator just to eliminate this so what do we get 150 root 3 root 3 minus 1 and this is root 3 root 3 that is 3 so 3 5 is a 15 so we get 50 Take root 3 inside. Root 3 into root 3 is 3 and this is minus root 3. So 53 minus root 3 is your distance between these two points. And you can just, uh, you know, as I said, put the value also and find out the decimal form. 1.732 you can use in place of root 3. The angle of elevation of a tower from a point at the same level as the foot of the tower is 30 degree. On advancing 150 degree, uh, let me tell you first please. The angle of the elevation of this tower AB from a point on the same level as the foot of the tower, so this is the foot at the same level, it is 30 degree. First is 30 degree. 
Now, when it when we advance 150 meters towards the foot, so this is the foot, so we are advancing towards the foot. The angle of elevation of the tower becomes 60 degrees. So this angle becomes 60 degrees. Show that the height of the tower is 129.9. So this h has to be shown as 129.9. So first we'll take uh, triangle ABC. So when we take triangle ABC, what do we get? H by x, 1060. is h by x. So 1060 is root 3. So h is root 3x. But we have to eliminate this x. Why? Because we need to find out the height which, which has to be 129.9. So x has to be written as h by root 3. This is our first equation. We will use it somewhere in the next, next equation. Coming to the triangle A, B and D. This triangle A, B, D is going to give you 1030. So 1030 is perpendicular by base. It will be h by x plus 150. h by x plus 150. 1030 is 1 by root 3. This is going to be h by x plus 150. Multiply this. x plus 150 is going to be root 3h. This is our second equation. Now x is h by root 3. Let us, let us put it here. It will be h by root 3 plus 150 equal to root 3h. Now bring this here. 150 equal to root 3h minus h by root 3. Take h outside. Root 3 minus 1 by root 3. What do we get? Root 3 root 3 is 3. And this is minus 1 by root 3. 3 minus 1 is uh, 2. So 2h by root 3 we have. And here, here we have 150. So what do we get h as? Uh, root 3 into 150 by 2. So this is 75. So 75 root 3 is there. So when you multiply 75 with 1.732, you get exactly 129.9. This is how, how the answer is going to unfold. So 75 root 3 will be 129.9. The angle of elevation of uh, the top of a tower from a point P for a point A on the ground is 30. So this is uh, point A and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower, this tower, is 30 degree. Moving in a distance of 20 meters, that is we move 20 meters in the direction of the tower, that is the foot of the tower near, in the, heading towards the foot of the tower. At this point B, the angle of elevation now increases to 60 degree. Find the height of the tower and the distance of the tower from the point A. So uh, we have two triangles now. Here, first triangle is the smaller one with 60 degree angle. The second is the bigger triangle with the angle 30 degree. So, let us take the first one, smaller one. So, tan 60. I am taking triangle DCB. This is DCB. Tan 60 is what? H by X. Tan 60 is root 3. And we have to find out the height. So, we have to eliminate this X. So, I will write X as H by root 3 first. Now coming to the tri second triangle which is D, C, A or A, C, D whichever way you want to write it. Here we have tan 30 and this is going to be perpendicular that is H by base X plus 20 that is 20 plus X. Tan 30 is what? 1 by root 3. It is H by 20 plus X. So what do we get? 20 plus X is root 3 H. But X is H by root 3? So 20 plus h by root 3 equal to root 3 h. Bring it here. 20 will be equal to, I am taking h outside. Root 3 minus 1 by root 3, same thing which we have, we have already, already done. Root 3 into root 3 is 3. I am writing it here. 3 and this is minus 1 by root 3. So you get 2 by root 3. h into 2 by root 3. Now take this on this side. So h will be equal to 20 into root 3 by 2. That is 2 times the 20. You get 10 root 3. H is 10 root 3. This 10 root 3, you can easily, this is only 10. Now let me see. It's uh, H by root 3. Are we missing something? Let me see. It is 2 by root 3. And this is 20 plus H is 10 root 3. That is 1 by root 3. H root 3 is 20 plus H. H, H we have written as H by root 3. So this is going to be root 3 root 3 minus 1 by root 3, so it is going to be 3 minus 1 by root 3. 
3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 root 3 minus 1 by root 3 so it will be 10 root 3 so it is going to be 10 root 3 so i just uh, want to change this it will be 10 because if you see this is root 3 minus 1 or it, this is root 3 minus 1 by root 3 3 this becomes 3 this minus 1 so 2 by root 3 20 into root 3 by 2 so this is 10 so 10 root 3 is the answer so we just don't take it 10 into root 3 root 3 is 1.732 multiplied by 10 it will be 17.32 now, this is your 17.32 and if uh, one more thing is being asked that is the height of the tower and the distance of the tower from the point A. So, point A what is the distance? This is 20. What do we find? X. X we have to find H by root 3. So, H is uh, this H is uh, H is root 3 X and X is H by root 3. So, X can be written as H by root 3 and H we found to be 17.32. This is how what is being done here. Actually, it is 10 root 3 by root 3, right? This is what is being done. I, I This is h by root 3. h is what? 10 root 3 as I said. We found it to be 10 root 3, right? So, 10 root 3 by 3, uh, 10 root 3 by root 3. So, 10 root 3 root 3 cancels. So, now this x, I can write it as 10 root 3 by root 3. This cancels, it is 10. Now, what is the distance here? This is 20 and this is what? 10. So, 20 plus 10. Is the distance from here to here? It is 30. So the height is 17.32, and the distance from C to A is 20 plus x, that is 20 plus 10, that is 30. From the top of a building 15 meter high, the angle of elevation of the top of tower is found to be 30 degrees. Find uh, from the bottom of the same building, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degrees. Find the height of the tower and the distance between the building and the tower. So here we have two things, right? First is your 15 meter building. This is 15 meter high and the there is a tower. This is a tower. So the angle of elevation from the top of the building is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. And then uh, from the bottom of the same building, this building, this angle of elevation is 60 degrees. We have to find out the height of the tower, that is this to hold, and the distance between them. Let me just draw it again. So we have a we have a building, we have a tower. Let us join the lines. From the top of the tower, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. From the bottom of the tower, from bottom of the building, from bottom of the building and top of the building, there are angles. So from the top of the building, the angle is 30 degrees. From bottom of the building, the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 60 degrees. And the height of this is 15. So this will also be 15 from here to here. And let us take it as h from this point to this point. So we have to find h plus 15 that is the height of the tower and let us take it as x. So x and h plus 15 we have to find out. So let me take the first triangle first. The smaller triangle. This one. So 10 60 will be what? 10 30 sorry. This h by x. 10 30 is 1 by root 3. h by x. So you, you get uh, x as h root 3. This is our first equation. If you see it's it's same thing what I am doing uh, for the beginning. You know, there can be multiple methods to solve it. 1030 is h by x, 1030 is 1 by root 3. So, you get x is h root 3. This is first equation. Now, coming to the second, second triangle, which is this one. So, 1060. What is 1060? It is h plus 15 by x. So, h plus 15 by x. So, x is h root 3. And 1060 is root 3. X is what? H root 3. Or bring it here. H root 3 into root 3 is 3H. Is H plus 15. Bring this here. 3H minus H equal to 15. 3H minus H is 2H. 2H is 15. H will be equal to 15 by 2. That is going to be 7.5. So this is 7.5. Now add it to 15. So that you get the height of the tower. So, 15 plus 7.5 is going to be 0.5 to 22.5. So, the height of the tower is 22.5. How about the distance? See, x is equal to h root 3. So, 22.5 into 1.732. That is the that is the distance between them. So, let me tell you this 15 plus 7.5 was the 22.5 which we found out. And when you multiply these two, that is 22.5 and 1.732, you will get the distance of x. That is this distance right i hope h root 3 
this is uh, h root 3 h is not 22 no will not take 22.5 because it is h root 3 h is 7.5 so 7.5 into 1.732 is going to be 12.9 this is going to be the answer so this is the 12.9 7.5 into On a horizontal plane, there is a vertical tower with a flag pole on the top of the tower. At a point 0.9 meter away from the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of the top and bottom of the flag pole are 60 degrees and 30 degrees. Find the height of the tower and the flag pole mounted on it. So we have here a vertical tower, AB. Then we have a flag post, that is a you know pole with a flag. At a point which is 9 meter away from the foot of the tower, that is if you are 9 meter away from here, the angles of elevation of top and bottom are 60 degree and 30 degree. So if you go, if you stand here and look up at the top of the flagstaff, it will be 60 degree. If you look at the bottom of the flagstaff, it will be 30 degree. So why we have to find the height of the tower and the flag pole mounted on it. So we have to find this one and this one. So let us take this as H and this is as X. So first we will take the smaller triangle and we know that the, the distance from here to here is 9. So let us take the smaller one that is 30 degrees. So A, B, C triangle I am taking. A, B, C. So we have 10, 10, 30 degree as H by 9. What is 10, uh, 10, 30? It is 1 by root 3. So H is going to be N by root 3. Let it be like this. We are going to uh, solve it. Okay, it's it, because the solution is already there. So we'll just try multiplying root three, root three numerator denominator. So nine root three, root three into root three is three. So three three is a nine. So th three root three is your h on the first equation. Three root three. Then coming to the second equation, that is sixty degrees. So ten sixty. T sixty. I'm writing. T sixty is x plus h that is whole triangle we are taking d b c so x plus h by 9 10 60 is what it is root 3 x plus x plus this is x x plus h h h we found out 3 root 3 by 3 so take this here 3 root 3 equal to x plus 3 root 3 now there, there is something because this is getting cancelled. So, we have to relook at this. This is 9. So, 9 root 3. Now, bring it here. 9 root 3 minus 3 root 3 is 6 root 3. So, x is 6 root 3. x is 6 root 3. h is uh, h is your 3 root 3. So, this is the height of tower h and this is the height of the flag star 6 root 3. So, 6 root 3 and uh, 3 root 3 you can use root 3 as 1.732 and you can multiply and get the value in the decimal form. So, A tree breaks down due to storm and the broken parts bend so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle of 30 degrees. The distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meter. Find the height of the tree. So here what is happening? There is a tree and it broke from here. It broke from here and the angle it is making the you can say head of the tree when it touches the ground it is making an angle of 30 degrees. The distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches is 8. From here to here it is 8. Find the height of the tree. So we have to find out find the height of the tree. If this is say, I, we don't know the, the um, either this one or this one. We are not aware of the height. So this is x and this is y. So we'll take x and y and then just add it. We will find x and y. So first thing is, if this is a triangle, this is 30 degree, this is 90 degree. So we have this this as the perpendicular, this as the base, perpendicular and base. So we can tag take uh, this is hypotenuse, right? This is hypotenuse and base. So Pandit Badri Prasad and her bone. So we have to use uh, this base every time. Okay. Base every time. So first time we will take the tan of 30. Tan 30 is tan 30 is x by 8. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. It is x by 8. So you get x as 8 by root 3. This is our first x. Then we have 10. Uh, no, no, we will not take 10. Perpendicular by base we are already taken. So now we have the hypotenuse and base. Base in hypotenuse comes with cos 60. 
cos uh, 30. Cos 30 is base upon hypotenuse. So, it is going to be base that is 8 by hypotenuse y. So, y is going to be C. Cos, if you take uh, cos 30, it is going to be root 3 by 2. Just take this as root 3 by 2 as 8 by y. What do you get? Y as 8 into 2 by root 3. That is 16 by root 3. Now, we have to add this x and y because the tree, this is also y and it broke down and bended like this. So, y plus x is the height of the tree. So, we will add this x plus y. That is 8 by root 3 plus 16 by root 3. So, this is 19 by root 3. So, when we get this 19 by root 3, uh, 8 and 16 is not 19. What am I doing? 16 plus this is 24 root by root 3. Now, 25 by root 3, multiply root 3 and root 3 in the numerator denominator. 24 root 3, this will be. And we have root 3, root 3 is 3. So, 3, 8, 6 is 24. So, you get 8 root 3. So, this is 8 root 3 is the answer. From a point P on the ground, angle of elevation of a 10 meter tall building is 30 degree. A flag is hoisted at the top of the building and the angle of elevation of the flag staff from P is 45 degree. Find the length of the flag staff and the distance of the building from the point P. So, the question here is, from a point P, on the ground, the angle of elevation of 10 meter tall building. So, if this is 10 meter tall building, the angle of elevation, if this is 10, angle of elevation is given as 30 degree. And a flag is hoisted at the top of the building. So, this, here is a flag of the building and the angle of elevation of the flag star is 45 degree. So, this is 45 degree from here to here. Find the length of the flag staff. So, this is the length of the flag staff, which is h, and the distance of the building from the point P. So, this is point P. This we have to find x. Let us take it as x. So, first we will take the bigger triangle. Why? Because we have 1045. 1045 is 1. So, 1045 degree is equal to this h plus 10 whole from here to here perpendicular by base. This is x. So, 1045 is 1. So, h plus 10 is x. This is first equation. And h and x both we have to find out. Now, the second is we will take this triangle. Again, we will take 10, 30 degree. So, 10, 30 will be what? It will be 10 by x. 10, 30 is 1 by root 3. So, it is 10 by x. x is 10 by root 3. So, the distance from this point to this point is 10 by root 3. This is what we got. Now, put it here. In this first equation, this what we got h plus 10 equal to x. So, h plus 10 equal to x. x will put 10 by root 3. Now, take this 10 here, h will be equal to 10 by root 3 minus 10. So, take 10 outside 1 by root 3 minus 1. What do you get? 10 1 minus root 3 by root 3. This is h plus 10 equal to x. So, what we have done is x we have found out is 10 root 3. x is 10 root 3. I am so sorry, x is 10 root 3. So, we will write 10 root 3 here. So, this will be simply uh, it will be 10 root 3 minus 1. So, this is the answer. You can just take it as 1.732 minus 1 is 0 0.732. So, it will be 0 0.732 and if you multiply this 7.32, this is going to be the answer. This is 7.32 meter. This is how you have to do it. A 1.6 meter tall boy stands on a, at a distance of 3.2 meter from a lamp post and casts a shadow of 4.8 meter on the ground. Find the height of the lamp post by using trigonometric ratio and properties of similar triangles. So, here we have this is the scenario that we have a lamp post. Then here is a person, a boy, who is 1.6 meter tall, and because of the this light, this shadow is 4.8 meter. Right? So let us this be theta, let us this be this also be theta. This will be 1.6, and take this whole height as h from here to here. Take all of it as h. So now uh, this first triangle we are going to take. 
So it will be first I am going to solve using this tan theta. So tan theta will be what? It is perpendicular by base 1.6 by 4.8. So this is what 1.3 by 4.8 tan theta and this is going to be because tan theta is 1.6 by 4.8 perpendicular by base. So this is going to be 16 threes of 48 so 1 by 3 it is tan theta is 1 by 3 this is what we got. Now we will apply this in triangle you can use this all okay you can use this all. So what uh, we can uh, okay one more thing is this this is one point this is 1.6 and this will be what see here we, we, we have 4.8 so let us take this whole triangle and this is 1.6 so this will also 1.6 and this as h whole is h so let us take this 10 this theta because this is not known to us right now so we have to find out this h using some uh, trigonometric uh, this similarity of pro, uh, similar triangles so we have to use it so let let us use the trigonometric ratios now so this is 1.6 1.6 divided by h going to be this 1.6 divided by h will be equal to what see in this triangle if you see this this by this h by this one whole will be equal to this by this whole right and this is given as 3.2 so as well as i was suggesting that we can use one more trigonometric ratio to find out this because we have already tan theta so if tan theta is say this one h by this 4.8 plus 3.2 and this is going to be h by 4.8 plus 3.2 is what it is 8 and tan theta is 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 8 h by 3 h by 8 is 1 by 3 h is given by 8 by 3 so this is my trigonometric equation now let us solve it by the similar uh, similar triangles so this by this this 1.6 by whole h will be equal to 4.8 by 4.8 plus 3 3.2 means this triangle and this triangle are similar so this by this will be equal to this by this so what do we get uh, this is of course 8 so 1.6 into 8 equal to h into 4.8 bring 4.8 here this is going to be 3 so h is equal to 8 by 3 so by both the cases h is 8 by 3 h is 8 by 3 both the uh, possibilities we have used from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of bottom and top of a transmission lower fixed at the or transmission wire at the top of 20 meter high building is 45 degree and 60 degree find the height of the transmission tower so we have uh, from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of this is the angle of elevation of a 20 this is 20 meter tall building and this is the angle of elevation which is 45 degree and this is also h so there is a transmission tower over this building so there is a building and there is a transmission tower so now this angle is given as a 45 degree and this angle is given as 60 degree so we have to find this height right so let it be h and this is of course given as 20 and this we take it as x so first we take the smaller triangle smaller triangle is what tan 45 equal to perpendicular by base 20 by x so tan 45 is 1 20 by x now x is equal to 20 this is what we get now let us take this bigger triangle it will be tan 60 equal to h plus 20 by x tan 60 is root 3 so root 3 x equal to h plus 20 but we know x is 20 by this so let us put it here it will be 20 root 3 equal to h plus 20 so in order to find h just take it here 20 root 3 minus 20 take 20 outside you get root 3 minus 1 so you can put 1.732 here 1.732 minus 1 is 0 0.732 multiply 0 0.732 by 20 we will get 14.64 as the height of the transmission tower now the next question is the angle of depression of the top and bottom of an 8 meter tall building. So this is the 8 meter tall building. The angle of depression from here is first is 30 degree this is top and then 45 degree this is bottom. 
bottom of a building from the top of a multi storied building so this is a multi storied building and these are 30 degree and 45 degree find the height of the multi storied building that is this h we have to find out and the distance between the two buildings so h we can find out like this so let us take this as 8 and this as 8 and this will be if this we take as whole h so it will be h minus 8 so first triangle we are taking this one what will be 10 30 it will be h minus 8 by x 10 30 is what it is root 3 h minus 8 and root 3 x equal to h minus 8 now let us take this triangle 45 degree because we have taken all as h 10 45 equal to h by x so h is equal to x so we can just put x as h root 3 h equal to h minus 8 so we are bringing this is h minus 8 by x so it will be it will be 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 so 1 by root 3 it is so what do we get h equal to root 3 h minus root 3 8 so i am bringing this here and this here so what do you get 8 root 3 equal to root 3 h minus 1 uh, no root 3 h minus h so i am taking h outside root 3 minus 1 so h will be 8 root 3 by root 3 minus 1 so multiply root 3 plus 1 and root 3 plus 1 numerator denominator so what do you get in the numerator you get 8 root 3 and root 3 plus 1 and here you get a plus b a minus b so this will be root 3 whole square minus 1 square this is 3 minus 1 that is 2 2 comes here 2 4 are 8 so the answer will be 4 bring it inside root or multiply root 3 inside root 3 into root 3 is 3 plus root 3 into 1 is root 3 so 4 into 3 plus root 3 this is your answer this is what you have to do a statue which is 1.6 meter tall this is statue 16.6 meter tall stands on the top of a pedestal so this is a pedestal so there is a pedestal on this say this is the pedestal and on this there is a statue this is a statue from a point at the ground the angle of elevation of the top of the statue means this one top of the this one and the bottom and point of elevation of the top of the pedestal and, and bottom so so the lower angle will be always less than 45 degree and this will be 60 degree this whole will be 60 degree so this angle is 60 degree this is 45 degree this is 1.6 meter uh, pedest this over the pedestal that is 1.6 meter is the height of the statue and we take this as x so what we have to find find the height of the pedestal so this h we have to find this is 1.6 so first we take the uh, this smaller triangle so this 1045 will be what it is h by x so ultimately h is equal to x this is our first equation then we come to the second part which is this 60 degree so we are tracking this this triangle so 1060 will be 1.6 plus h this whole 1.6 plus h by x but if you see we have to find out the height of the pedestal so we are going to remove this x x we will write as h 1060 is root 3 1.6 plus h by h so this will be root 3 h equal to 1.6 plus h now bring it here it will be root 3 h minus h equal to 1.6 h will be root 3 minus 1 equal to 1.6 h is equal to 1.6 by root 3 minus 1 so multiply numerator and denominator by root 3 plus 1 because we don't want to have root in the denominator so this is going to be 1.6 root 3 plus 1 in the numerator and root 3 whole square minus 1 square a plus b a minus b so root 3 whole square is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 and this is going to be 0 0.8 so the answer is 0 0.8 into uh, sorry 2 2 into 16 2 this is a 2 into 6 0 0.8 it is 0 0.8 so what you have to do because we have this 2 2 1.6 divided by 2 is 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 root 3 plus 1 this is the answer 0 0.8 root 3 plus 1 A TV tower stands vertically on a bank of a river of uh, of a river for a, from a point on the other bank directly opposite to the tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree. From a point 20 meter away from this point on the same bank, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower and the width of the river. So the question is like this: that this there is a tower, 
and stand vertically on the bank of a river. So there is a bank of a river, it stands like this. Now a point on the other bank. So this is say another bank. The angle is this 60 degree. Now you move 20 meter away from the bank. The angle becomes 30 degree. So you have to find this. This is these are two banks. So first x, this is you have to find, and the height of the tower also you have to find out. So first we will use this triangle, smaller triangle. So tan 60 will be equal to h by x. Tan 60 is what? Root 3. h equal to x root 3. This is our first equation. Now coming to the second part, that is the bigger triangle. So tan 30 now will be perpendicular h by base 20 plus x. 1030 is 1 by root 3. So we can write 1 by root 3 here. So now this h root 3 will be equal to 20 plus x. Now you can put h as x root 3 here. h as x root 3. So x into root 3 into root 3 equal to 20 plus x. So there is root 3 into root 3 is 3. So 3x equal to 20 plus x. Bring it here. 3x minus x is 2x equal to 20. x will be equal to 20 by 2 that is 10. 10. So this width is 10. Now how about height? Height is x root 3. So 10 root 3. I am putting x as 10. So 10 root 3, you can just multiply, you know, by the value 1.732 if you want, and you will get the proper value. So this is what you have to do. This is h root 3 equal to 20 plus x. And root, you can just put this one here, this one here. It is going to be 10 meter and 10 root 3. Right? 10 and 10 root 3. From the top of a 7 meter high building, the angle of elevation of top of the cable is 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree. Determine the height of the tower. So here from the top, from the top of a 7 meter high building, the angle of elevation. So there is a building which is 7 meter high and there is, first is the elevation of the top of a cable. So if this is a cable, it is 60 degree. This angle is 60 degree and the angle of depression. So it is, we are looking down now. So this angle will be 45 degree. So because these two are parallel lines, this will also be 45 degree. Determine the height of the tower. So let us assume that this is h and this of course will be 7. So what you will do? First we will take this triangle, say this one. Because we have 1045. So 1045 equal to perpendicular by base, 7 by x. So 1045 is 1, so 7 is x. x is 7 which, which is what we got. That is the distance between these two. But we have to find out the height. So now we will take the this triangle. So it will be 1060 equal to h by x. 1060 is what? Root 3. Equal to h by x. But x is 7. You put it 7. h will be equal to 7 root 3. h will be equal to 7 root 3. But this is h and this is 7. So we have to find whole of the height. So we have to add this to 7. So h will be 7 root 3. Means h plus 7 you have to do. So 7 root 3 plus 7. So take 7 as common. Root 3 plus 1. So h 7 into root 3 plus 1. This is your height of the cable tower. This is your answer. As observed from the top of a 75 meter tall lighthouse, the angle of depression of two ships are 30 degree and 45 degree. If one ship is exactly behind the other on the same side of the lighthouse, find the distance between the two ships. So we have a ship here. And this is first uh, ship. Uh, there is a lighthouse. And what first ship is this and second ship is this. So this is 75 meter tall. We have to find out the distance between these two, these two ships. So let us assume it to be x and this to be y. Or you can take h any way you want. First angle is 45 degree. The second angle is 30 degree. So when we take the shorter triangle, uh, this one, this triangle, 1045 will be equal to 75 by y. 1045 is 1, so y equal to 75. This you got as 75. This and this are same. Now coming to the bigger triangle, which is 30 degree angle voila, triangle. So 10, 30 is equal to 75, that is perpendicular by base. Now we take x plus y and we know that y we have already found to be 75. So I will directly write x plus 75. 10, 30 is 1 by root 3. Now we'll bring it on. Multiply, cross multiply. x plus 75 equal to 75 root 3. Bring this 75 here. x will be 75 root 3 minus 75. This is 75 root 3 minus 1. 
This is your answer. The angle of elevation of a top of a building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree and the angle of, of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degree. If the tower is 50 meter high, find the height of the building. So we have a 50 meter this tower and we have a building. Now from the from the foot of the this building, the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 60 degree and from the foot of this 50 meter tower the angle of elevation to this building is 30 degree so we have to find the height of the building so let us take it as h let me tell you again there are two things first we are viewing from here to the top first then we are viewing here from the top we are joining this so this angle is 30 this angle is 60 and this is h we have assumed it to be h and this is given as 50 so first we will take uh, this triangle so or we have the value so we'll take this triangle first so it will be 10 60 equal to 50 by x 10 60 is root 3 50 by x so x is equal to 50 by root 3 so distance between them is this x is 50 by root 3 now coming to this triangle now second triangle 10 30 that is this triangle i'm taking 1030 is what? Perpendicular by base, h by, we have assumed it to be h, as by base, x. But x is 50 by root 3. And 1030 is what? 1 by root 3. Right? h by x is what? 50 by root 3. Now bring it here. So it will be 50 root 3, 1 by root 3 into 50 by root 3. This is going to be h. Root 3 root 3 is what? 3. 50 by root 3. 50 by, 50 by 3 is the height. This is the answer. From a point on a bridge across a river, the angle of depression of the bands on opposite side of the river are 30 degree and 45 degree respectively. If the bridge is at a height of 30 meter from the banks, find the width of the river. So here we have two bands and there is a from a point on a bridge across a river. So these, this is a river flowing. The angle of depression of the banks on the opposite side of the river are this. So there is a bridge. If you see this side, if you see this side, this angle is 30 degree, angle of depression. And this angle is 45, 45 degree, this is angle of depression. So this will be 30, this will also be 45 like this. And the height of this bridge is 30. So let us take this as x and this as y. And we have to find the width of the river. So we'll Compute x and we'll compute y and then we'll just add them. So let us take uh, the first one, this one, this triangle. A, C, D. So here tan 45 is equal to 30 by y. So y is equal to because tan 45 is 1. So y is equal to 30. So this is the first solution we got. We'll, we are going to find x and then we'll add. So now come here, let us take this triangle now. So tan 30 here will be perpendicular by base, 30 by x. So 30 by x, now tan 30 is 1 by root 3, is 30 by x. Now multiply this, x becomes 30 root 3, this is second. Now we have to add x and y, so just add x plus y, we have to do. So 30 root 3 plus 30 is the result. So take 30 outside, root 3 plus 1 is inside. So this is the answer. This is the width of the river. A man sitting at a height of 20 meter on a tall tree on a small island in the middle of a river observed two poles directly opposite to each on the two banks of the river and in line with the foot of the tree. So here is a tree, here are two banks. So the height of the tree is 20. If the angles of depression of the feet of poles from a point at which the man is sitting on the tree or on either side of the river are 60 degree and 30 degree, find the width of the river. Same question with the different angles. So here angle of depression is, this is 30 and this is 60. This will also be 30, this will also be 60. And this is the height which is 20. 
Now we have to find the width of the reverse. So same thing we are going to do. We will take this as x, this s is y and we will just add them. So I am taking the first triangle that is 30 degree triangle. 10, 30 will be 20 by x. Perpendicular by base. So I am taking this triangle. So 10, 30 will be 20 by x. So 10, 30 is 1 by root 3. We get 20 by x. So x is 20 root 3. This is our first equation. Now coming to this triangle. We get 10, 60 equal to 20 by y. 20 by y. So 10, 10 30 is root 3. 20 by y. y is given by 20 by root 3. So what we have to do, we just have to add this. 20 root 3 and 20 by root 3 we have to add. That is x plus y will be equal to, which will be the width of the river. It is going to be 20 plus 20 by root 3. You can take 20 outside, add just 1 plus 1 by root 3. What do you get? Root 3 plus 1 by root 3. So this is the answer you would see this is 20 into root 3 plus 1 and uh, oh this is 20 root 3 is 20 okay let me change it this is this is 20 root 3 so root 3 this is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 so root 3 root 3 is 3 right and this is 1 and by root 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 4 into 20 by root 3 so this is 80 by root 3 so this is the answer a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and is surmounted by a flagstaff of height 7 meter. From a point on the, on the plane, the angle of elevation of the bottom of the flagstaff is 30 degree and that of the top of flagstaff is 45 degree. Find the height of the tower. So here we have this one. A vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and it is surmounted by a flagstaff. So this is a flagstaff which is 7 meter high. This is 7 meter high. From a point of the plane, the angle of elevation of bottom of a flagstaff. So bottom is this one and this is given as 30 degree. And the top of the flagstaff is 45 degree. So this is 45 degree. That is, we have to find out the height of the tower. So let us take it as h. So what we will do? We will take this as x. So first we are going to take the smaller triangle that is 30 degree triangle. So 10, 30 will be perpendicular by base h by x. So 10, 30 is 1 by root 3 h by x. So x is root 3 h. This is our first equation. right? Then uh, we come to the second equation which is this is uh, x is h root 3. Now second is this 45 degree angle. So we are going to take the bigger triangle. So 10 45 degree will be equal to perpendicular by base. So now we will take 7 plus h total. 7 plus h by x. Because 10 45 is 1. So x is 7 plus h. But we have to find the height of the tower. So we will eliminate this x. So we will put x equal to root 3 h. I am putting root 3 h here. Equal to 7 plus h. Bring it here. So, no, you have to bring this here. Root 3h minus root 3h minus h will be equal to 7. Take h outside. So, root 3 minus 1 equal to 7. h will be equal to 7 by root 3 minus 1. So, multiply numerator and denominator by root 3 plus 1. Why? Because we want to rationalize this one. We just want to rationalize. We don't want root in the, in the denominator. So, what do we get? 7 root 3 plus 1 above and root 3 plus 1 and root 3 minus 1 is root 3 whole square minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 that is 2. So this 7 by 2 is 3.5 and then we have root 3 plus 1. So 3.5 root 3 plus 1 this is the answer. The length of the shadow of a tower standing on a level plane is found to be 2x meter longer than the sun's altitude uh, when it is 30 degree. Uh, so there are two angles actually. So it is 45 degree. When it was 30 degree. Now prove that the height of the tower is x root 3 plus 1 meters. So the question here is see first of all this is the length of the shadow. So the length of the shadow of a tower standing on a level plane is found to be 2x meter longer 
2 x meter longer when it is 30 degree. See, always when we go higher side, means um, away from the from any tower or some or some any object like this, the angle will be less. So this is 30 and this is 45 degree, right? So this is 30, this is 45 degree, and the length is found to be 2 x more. 2 x more. 2 x is already given. So we have to prove that the height of the tower is x root 3 plus 1. Okay. So let us assume this to be y and we will just eliminate this y. Okay. So first is uh, this uh, small triangle we are going to take. This one. So here 1045. In this case we are taking triangle A, B, C. So 1045 is h by y. So y is equal to h because 1045 is 1. This is our first equation. Now coming to the 30, 30 degree triangle, this one, 1030 will be equal to h by 2x plus y, h by 2x plus y. I am taking it as y, you can take it as a also. It doesn't matter because it is going to be, we are going to eliminate it anyhow. 1030 is 1 by root 3 is equal to h by 2x. Now why I am putting as h, right? So do we get 2x plus h? is root 3h. I am bringing this here. 2x will be equal to root 3h minus h. I am taking h outside. This will be root 3 minus 1. This is 2x. Right. So h will be what? Height will be equal to 2 by root 3 minus 1. 2x by root 3 minus 1. Now we have to prove it like this. So we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 3 plus 1. So what do we get here? Root 3 minus 1 and root 3 plus 1 is root 3 whole square a square minus b square root 3 whole square is 3 p minus 1 is 2 so we get for this 2 so 2x by 2 root 3 plus 1 2 2 gets cancelled this is x root 3 plus 1 and this is what was required and this is the answer a tree breaks down due to storm and broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle of 30 degree with the ground the distance from the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 10 meter. Find the height of the tree. So the scenario here is there is a tree. Now the tree broke down or it is broken from somewhere here and now the tree is like this. So this part fell down like this. This is angle 30 degree and uh, we have to find the height of the tree because the distance from this point to this point where the top of the tree touches the ground is 10. So we'll take this as x and we'll take this as y and this will also be y because the same portion has broken down. So we'll add y and x in order to find out because we have to add y and x to, to find the height of the tree. So first let us try, we have, we have to take two different angles here. So first we will take this tan of 30 degree. So tan of 30 degree is perpendicular by base that is x by 10. Then 10 30 is 1 by root 3 is x by 10. What do you get? x is equal to 10 by root 3. This is our first one that is x we got. Now we have to find y. But y is hypotenuse and this this is this is base. Hypotenuse by, by base or base upon hypotenuse we will take the cos angle. So cos 30 is base upon hypotenuse. Base is what? 10. And hypotenuse is what? We don't know. Y. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. This is 10 by y. So y will be equal to 2 into 10 that is 20 by root 3. So this is x, this is y, we have to add these two. So let us add x plus y, 10 by root 3 plus 20 by root 3, because the denominator are same, we have to add these, so 30 by root 3. So what you can do here is, you can just multiply numerator and denominator by, because this is the actual, actual answer, right? Now you have to multiply root 3 and root 3, numerator and denominator. This is going to be 3 and this is going to be 10, so it is going to be 10 root 3. So this will be, see. I am just changing it. 30 by root 3 multiply root, root numerator denominator. This is going to be 3 and 3 tens are 30. So it will be 10 root 3. This is the answer. A balloon is connected to a meteorological ground station by a cable of length 215 meter inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal. Determine the height of the balloon from the ground. Assume that there is no slack in the cable. So here we have a balloon which is connected to a meteorological ground station. So here is a balloon. It is connected to the meteorological ground station 
by a cable by a length of 215 this is 215 meter but it is inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal we have to determine the height of the balloon from the ground so from the ground the height is like this so this is the height we have to find let me tell you again there is a point this is a balloon this is 60 degree this is the height above the ground so we have to find this one h assume that there is no slack so we have this 215 and this is the hypotenuse and this is the uh, perpendicular so we'll use the sine of sine of 60 the sine of 60 will be equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is h by hypotenuse is 250 and sine 60 is of course root 3 by 2 this is this is going to be h by 215 multiply this h will be equal to 215 h by this 2 uh, root 3 215 root 3 by 2 so this is 107.5 215 divided by 2 is 107.5 this is root 3 so h is this one this is your answer two men on either side of a cliff 80 meter high observe the angle of elevation of the top of the cliff to be 300 and 600 this is not 300 this is 30 degree and 60 degree because angle of elevation and depression are always in, in the angle. So there is a change here 30 degree, 60 degree by the distance between the two men. Now the question here is two men on the either side of a cliff. So there is a cliff which is which is 80 meter high and two men are either side of the cliff that is here and here and they saw once one see it to be 60 degree. And one see it to be say 30 degree angle of elevation by the distance between two men. So this is between two men. So let us take this as x and this as y. So what we are going to do here is because the height is given as 80. So first we'll find out x and then y and then just we'll add it. So I'm taking this triangle now. So tan 60 will be what? It's perpendicular by base 80 by x. 1060 is root 3. Root 3 is 80 by x. So x is equal to 80 by root 3. This is our first equation. Now coming to this triangle, we are taking this triangle now. So here 10, 30 will be equal to 80 by y, perpendicular by base. 10, 30 is 1 by root 3, this is 80 by y. y is going to be 80 root 3. So this is first and this is second. So we can just add them because we have to add these two so that we can find out the distance between these two men. So x plus y we have to do that is 80 root 3 plus 80 by root 3. So what, what are we going to do? Just multiply these 80 root 3 into root 3 plus 80 by root 3. So this is 8 into root 3 root 3 is 3. So 8 into 3 is and this is 80. 80 into 3 is 240 and this is 80. 240 80 is 320. So this will be 320 by root 3. This is the answer. Find the angle of elevation of the sun, that is sun's altitude, when the length of the shadow of our vertical pole is equal to its height. So it's uh, but easy because we have done so many questions now. It is 45 degree. Why? Because this and this. This is the sun. Say so here is sun. So this is the altitude. This is the shadow of this vertical pole and the height of the pole is also equal to the length of the shadow h and m so when these are equal this is theta let us take it as tan theta tan th theta is h by l and h and l, e l are equal so you can write it as one tan theta is one so theta is tan inverse of one which is equal to 45 degree so this is the answer this is how you have to do it right you have to you have to write everything and you have to do proper uh, formulation, uh, formulation that is formula has to be given everything has to be done right uh, right like this so that you because you know the answer right but you have to show it to the examiner that you know the answer by this method a man standing is on the deck of a ship which is 8 meter above water level he observed the angle of elevation of top of a hill as 60 degree and the angle of depression of the base of the hill as 30 degree so a man is standing at Eight height. Now he is. This is the horizontal. The angle of elevation and angle of depression is given. This one. 
this angle of elevation is given to be 60 degree and this to the uh, say base of the hill the angle of depression is given as 30 degree so this will also be 30 they calculate the distance of the hill from the ship that is we have to find out this distance so let us take it as x and the height of the hill so from here to here it will be 8 and this will be h i am taking this from here to here as h so we are ultimately going to add h plus 8 to find out the height of the hill and x of course we are going to find out so i'll take this uh, triangle first this one so it will be 10 30 10 30 will be equal to 8 by x 10 30 is 1 by root 3 gives 8 by x so x is 8 root 3 this one now coming to this triangle this one okay x we have already found out so 10 60 degree will be equal to this h by x this is also x h by x so h by x is what 8 root 3 you can write 8 root 3 now 10 60 is root 3 this is h by 8 root 3 so in order to find h we have 8 root 3 into root 3 root 3 root 3 is 3 so 8 into 3 8 is a 24 so this is 24 right and x is of course we got as uh, 8 root 3 so we have to add them one is 24 and one is this is 24 h is 24 and one is 8 so we have to add these two so the height actual height is capital h you can say is from here to here it is capital h this is going to be 24 plus you have to add this 8 also and this is going to be 32 so the distance between them is 8 root 3 and the height is 32 the angle of depression of two ships from the top of a lighthouse and on the same side of it are found to be 45 degree and 30 degree if the ships are 200 meter apart find the height of the lighthouse so the scenario is something like this there is a lighthouse now there are two ships one is here and the other is here say here the angle of elevation is like this this will be a smaller angle this will be a larger angle so this is 45 and this is 30 degree and the angle of depression of two ships from the top of the lighthouse so we have to find out the height of the lighthouse and also the find the height of the lighthouse and if the distance are 200 meter apart this is and uh, let us take this as x so we have to find the height so we'll find out equation and we'll eliminate this x so let me take this uh, as the first triangle so 10 45 degree will be 10 45 degree will be equal to h by x right so what do we get 10 45 is 1 so h is equal to x is our first equation now coming to the second this one this will be 10 30 degree it will be h by now h by 200 plus x this whole you have to take so 200 plus x 10 30 is what because h is equal to x and we don't want x we want h let me write here h 10 30 degree is what 1 by root 3 it is going to be h by 200 plus h now take this here take this here so it will be 200 plus h will be equal to h root 3 now bring it here 200 will be equal to h root 3 minus h i am taking h is common right so it will be root 3 minus 1 equal to 200 so h will be equal to 200 by root 3 minus 1 so multiply numerator and denominator by root 3 plus 1 so this root 3 minus 1 and root 3 plus 1 will be root 3 whole square minus 1 square that is 3 minus 1 that is 2 this will be equal to 200 root 3 plus 1 by 2 so the answer will be 100 root 3 plus 1 this is the answer the angles of elevation from the top of a tower from the points at a distance of 4 meter and 9 meter from the base of the tower and in the same straight line will be will they are complementary prove that the height of the tower is 6 meter so the complementary means if we have two angles say theta 1 and theta 2 if you add them it, it is going to be 90 degree this is what the question is so the angle of elevation from the from the top of a tower from two points at a distance 4 meter and 9 meter from the base of the tower so this is the tower this is 4 meter and this is 9 meter from here to here it is 
This is 4 meter and this is 9 meter. What is 9 meter? So the angle of elevation is something like this. So if it if this is say say this is theta, this will be tan, this will be 90 minus theta. I hope you got the idea. One is theta, other one will be 90 minus theta. So this is theta, this is 90 minus theta. So we have to prove that the height is 6 meters. So let it let us take this as height h. Now let me take the first triangle, okay. This one. So tan theta will be equal to perpendicular by base h by 9. And second second one, we will take this one. So here it will be tan 90 minus theta. This is going to be h by 4. Right? So tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. But cot theta can be written as tan theta. 1 by tan theta. Cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta. So I have to write 1 by tan theta or you can say I will write the tan theta and I will just change them. It is 4 by h. See, tan theta is 1 by cot theta. Cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta. So 1 by tan theta can be, this 1 by tan theta can be written as cot theta. So in, instead of writing this cos theta as 1 by tan theta, I just took it or I will just tell you here also 1 by tan theta equal to h by 4. So take it here, take it here. So tan theta will be equal to 4 by h. So here we have tan theta, here we have tan theta. They both are same. 1 and 2 are same. So equate them. So tan theta, tan theta, 1 is h by 9 and 1 is 4 by h. Now you multiply them. This is h square equal to 9 into 4. This is 36. So h will be equal to under root 36, h will be equal to 6. And this is what we have to prove. From the top of a 50 meter high tower, the angle of depression of the top and bottom of a pole are observed to be 45 degree and 60 degree. Find the height of the pole. So the question here is that there are two objects or you can say two vertical objects. First is the tower which is 50 meter high. That is there is a tower. It is 50 meter high. And the angle of depression of the top and bottom of a pole. So here is a pole. And the angle of uh, depression, that means if you can draw a parallel here, this one and this one. So this angle and this angle. So which will be the lesser angle? This will be lesser angle. So this is 45 degree. So this will also be 45 degree. And this depression, this whole one is 60 degree. So this is also 60 degree. This is 60. So now they the height of this one that is the 50 meter tower is given we have to find the height of the pole so let us assume this to be say say h so if this if this is h this will also be h and this will be 50 minus h that is this will be 50 minus h right because we have assumed it to be say small h and this will also be small h i'm taking this as 50 minus h now first we will take the this triangle. So tan 45 will be perpendicular by base. 50 minus h by say let us take it as x. So this will be 50 minus h by x. But tan 45 is 1 so x will be equal to, equal to 50 minus h. This is our, is our first equation. Now let us come to this triangle. So this will be tan 60. And this is going to be because this is all 50. So we can take, take directly as 50 by this 50 by x. Right. So x equal to 50 minus h. 10, 1060 is root 3. And this is 50 by. I am putting x as 50 minus h here. Right. So Now let us take it here. 50 root 3 minus h root 3. I am multiplying root 3 with these two equal to 50. So take h1 here and 50 bring it here. So 50 root 3 minus 50 will be equal to h root 3. So this will be, I am bringing now root 3 to the denominator. So 50 root 3 minus 50 by root 3 is the h. This will be, this one is 50 root 3 by root 3 minus 50 by root 3. This is going to be 1. So 50 minus 50 by root 3. This is the answer. If you want, you can just change it also because it will be 
you can multiply this you know the way you want so you can do it like this say 50 root 3 minus 50 by root 3 and you can multiply root 3 root 3 numerator denominator so it will be 50 root 3 into root 3 is 3 minus 50 root 3 by this 3 so let us take 50 outside so it will be 3 minus root 3 by 3 so i have taken this and this out so 3 minus root 3 remain and 3 is already there so this is how the solution will be and if you want to find out the distance between this also it will be 50 minus h you can just subtract this with 50 this whole by subtract 50 minus this whole you will get the x also which will eventually come as 50 by root 3 the horizontal distance between two trees of different heights is 60 meter the angle of depression of the top of the first tree when seen from the top of the second tree is 45 degree if the height of the second tree is 80 meter find the height of the first tree so what we are going to do here is the horizontal distance between two trees of different heights so let us take this as first height this is the second tree and the distance between them is 60 so the angle of depression of the top of the first tree that is the angle of depression of the top of the first tree when seen from the top of the second tree is 45 so this is 45 degree so this will also be 45 degree this is top if the height of the second tree is 80 if the because see the angle of depression of the top of the first tree from the top of the second tree is 45 degree and the height of the second tree is 80 so this hole is 80 from here to here what is the height of the first tree so let us assume it to be h this also h so this will become 80 minus h this hole is 80 this h this h so this will be 80 minus h so let us take this one first 10 45 degree so 10 45 degree will be what 80 minus h by x or which is 60 so 80 minus h by 60 so 10 45 is 1 so 60 will be 80 minus h what will be h 80 minus 60 so h will be 20 this is the answer so there is nothing to be you know concerned about only one triangle we have to use this is 80 minus h by x and this is going to come directly the flagstaff stands on the top of a 5 meter high tower so there is a tower which is 5 meter of length now there is a flagstaff over it this is a flagstaff a flag from the point on the ground say so we have a point on the ground the angle of elevation of top of the flagstaff is 60 degrees so this is 60 degrees and from the same point the angle of elevation of top of a tower that is the bottom of the flagstaff this one is 30 degree oh 45 degree 45 degree find the height of the flagstaff so this h has to be known how to find this so first uh, i'll take this as x right so first i'll take the smaller triangle this one so you have to write you know you have to mark the triangle give the name to, to the vertex and then you have to do i'm just telling you the logic so 10 45 degree will be what for the smaller triangle it will be perpendicular by base so it will be 5 by x so x is 5 because 10 45 is 1 this is the first one which, which we got now coming to this one this bigger triangle 10 60 degree so 10 60 degree will be, will be what perpendicular that is h plus 5 this is h and this is 5 by x now we know that x is equal to 5 so we can just directly put 5 here and 10 60 is root 3 so h plus 5 x i'm putting as 5 so now take this there to be 5 root 3 equal to h plus 5 now bring it here so h will be 5 root 3 minus 5 so it's going to be 5 root 3 minus 1 this is the height of the flag stuff you can put this as point uh, you know root 3 as 1.732 then also you can find out the final version and this is also good if you if you stop here this will also be acceptable as observed from the top of a 150 meter tall lighthouse the angle of depression of two ships approaching it are 30 degree and 45 degree if one ship is directly behind the other find the distance between the two ships so the situation is like this there is a lighthouse there are two ships one ship here one ship here now we know that whenever we go up to a distance the angle will decrease so this will be 30 degree and this will be 45 degree now this is 150 meter high lighthouse this is tall lighthouse 
Now the angle of depression that is this is the angle of depression this was 30 and this was 45 degrees. So we because the angles remains the uh, same on this side this side because of the parallel lines so alternate angles will be same. This is this will be 30 and this will be 45. So now distance between the two ships. So this x we have to find let us assume this to be this to be y. So ultimately we have to find x. So first we will take this triangle smaller one you can say. So 1045 will be what? 1045 will be equal to 150 by y. And as we know 1045 is this, this is equation 1. So 1045 is 1 so y will be equal to 150. This is our first equation or you can say second equation right this is first. So y is 150 now coming to this triangle. In this triangle this tan 30 degree will be equal to 150 by x plus y. But y is 150. So 10 30 is 1 by root 3 150 by x. x we have to know y is already 150. Now take it here, take it here, cross multiply. x plus 150 will be equal to 150 root 3. Bring it here. x will be equal to 150 root 3 minus 150. Take 150 outside root 3 minus 1. This is your answer. The angle of elevation of top of a rock from the top and foot of a 100 meter high tower are respectively 30 degree and 45 degree. Find the height of the rock. So here the situation here is the angle of elevation of top of a rock from the top and foot of a 100 meter high tower. So this is 100 meter high tower and there is a rock. Let, it, let this be a rock. So the angle of elevation of top of a rock from a top and bottom of the tower. So this is tower. This is this is 30 degree and this is 45 degree. Now we have to find the height of the rock. So let us assume this to be h and this is of course 100. Why we have taken this? Because we will add h with 100 and then we will find out the final value. So now this is let it let it be x the distance between the tower and the rock. So I'll take the this triangle first, or rather this one first. So 10 30 degree will be equal to h by x. So 10 30 is 1 by root 3, and this is going to be h by x. So x will be equal to h root 3. This is our first equation. Coming to this triangle, this triangle tan 45 will be equal to h plus 100. We have to take whole of these, right? So h plus 100 by x. But x is h root 3, so put it here. And tan 45 is 1, so x will be equal to h plus 100, what we got from here, this equation. And we'll put h root 3 here. So h root 3 will be equal to h plus 100. Bring it here. This will be h root 3 minus h will be equal to 100. h will be equal to root 3 minus 1 equal to 100. h will be equal to 100 by root 3 minus 1. So we need to rationalize this. We don't want root to be in the denominator. So we will just multiply root 3 plus 1 and root 3 plus 1 in the numerator and denominator. So what do we get? This is 100 root 3 plus 1. And what do we get from here? Root 3 whole square. This is a plus b, a minus b. Root 3 whole square minus 1 whole 1 square. Root 3 whole square minus 1 square that is 3 square minus 1. Oh sorry, 3 minus 1 that is 2. So 2. So this is 50. So what do you get? 50 root 3 plus 1. This is the answer. A straight highway leads to the foot of a tower of height 50 meter. So this, this is a tower 50 meter high, and this is a straight highway. From the top of the tower or from the top of the tower, the angle of depression. So this is, these are the angle of depression of two cars. One car is this, the other car is this. So the two cars is 30 degree and 60 degree. So this will be 30 degree and this one will be 60 degree. So because of the parallel lines and the alternate angles, this will be 30 and this will be 45 degree. Uh, this is 60 degree or uh, this is 60 degree. So let us take it as 60 degree. Okay, it is 60 degree. It is 60 degree. Now, what is the distance between the two cars and how far is each 
car from the tower. So let us assume this to be x and this is to be y. So we have to find x and y and then this uh, x and y. So y will be the distance between these two cars and x and x plus y will be the distance from the tower. So first uh, let us take this triangle or first this one tan 60 degree. So I am taking tan 60 degree that is I am taking this triangle first. Tan 60 degree will be 50 by x. So 50 is perpendicular, x is base. Tan 60 is root 3, which is 50 by x. So x will be equal to 50 by root 3. So this is our first, first thing which we wanted to find out, x. Now let us go to the bigger triangle with 30 degree angle. So now tan 30 will be equal to perpendicular by base, so 50 by x plus y. 10 30 is what it is 1 by root 3 it is 50 by x plus y now put x equal to 50 by root 3 here so this will be let us first multiply x plus y equal to 50 root 3 i am putting x as 50 by root 3 this is 50 by root 3 plus y equal to 50 root 3 bring it here y will be equal to 50 root 3 minus 50 by root 3 so multiply 50 root 3 into root 3 is 50 into 3 minus this is 50 and this is by root 3 so this is 150 minus 50 by root 3 and this is going to be 100 by root 3 okay so x is means the distance of the first one from the tower is x which is 50 by root 3 the distance of the second from the this will find out by x plus y and the distance between these two is y which is this one 100 by root 3 so just to find x plus y that is the distance of the second one from the tower we will just add them. So it will be 50 by root 3 plus 100 by root 3. This is going to be 150 by root 3. Right this is the answers. From the top of a building AB which is 60 meter the angle of depression of the top and bottom of a vertical lamp post cd are observed to be 30 degree and 45 degree respectively find the horizontal distance between ab and cd the height of the lamp post and the difference between the heights of the building and the lamp post so from the top of the building the angle of depression that is this is going to be higher because the angle of depression is always looking downwards this is 60 meter ab right so this is say ab the angle of depression of top and bottom of a vertical lamp. So there is a lamp here. The angle of depression, this one and this one. So this angle is your 30 degree. So this will be 30 degree. And this will be, this hole will be 45 degree. So this will be 45 degree. Right? This is AB and this is CD. So we have to find a certain things first the height of the lamp post so let it be h this will also be h and this will be what then 60 minus h. So I am taking this triangle first and I am assuming the distance between them is x. First I am taking triangle ADB so triangle A is ADB this triangle I am taking so 10 45 equal to perpendicular by base perpendicular whole is 60 so we can just write 60 because with the dis the height of the, or the top of the building that is the length of the building is 60 meter we can take directly 60 meter and this x now 1045 is 1 so x equal to 60 this is what we got the distance between these two r is is 60 now coming to this triangle then uh, the triangle is A, let us assume it to be O. So ACO. So tan 30 degree will be equal to the 60 minus H by X. 60 minus H by X. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. 60 minus H. Now I am putting X as 60 here. So what do we get? We cross multiply. 60 will be equal to uh, root 3 into 60. That is 60 root 3 minus H root 3. So take this here, bring it here. So h root 3 will be equal to 60 root 3 minus 60. So what do you get? 
take 60 outside this will be root 3 minus 1 and now bring this root 3 down this will be h so h is 60 root 3 minus root 3 if you want to solve it more you can multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3 so what do you get 60 root 3 root 3 minus 1 by root 3 into root 3 is 3 so you get 20 here 20 multiply root 3 inside root 3 into root 3 is 3 and this will be root 3 this is the height so this is the height this is the distance right and difference between the height of the building and the lamppost so you can find out 60 minus h so you can find 60 minus 20 or you can say let me just write this as 60 minus 20 root 3 so i am doing 60 minus 60 minus 20 20 root 3 so 60 minus 60 plus 20 root 3 this gets cancelled so the height, difference of height between them is 20 root 3 so all of the thing we have got two boats approach a lighthouse in mid sea from the opposite directions the angle of elevation of top and of the lighthouse from the two boats are 30 degree and 45 degree if the distance between the two boats is 100 meter find the height of the lighthouse so now the two boats are approaching from the opposite side so here is the lighthouse one is coming from here and one is coming from here right now the angle of first one say it to be 30 degree and this has to be 45 degree the angle of elevation uh, this we have got if the distance between the two boats is 100 meter so let us say this to be x so this would be 100 minus x because total if you add 100 minus x plus x it would be 100 so from here to here the distance is 100 now what is the height of the lighthouse so the, let, let us assume it to be h so i am taking this triangle first so 10 45 degree will be h by 100 minus x h by 100 minus x so 10 45 because it is 1 so 100 minus x is equal to h this is our first equation we are going to use it somewhere now coming to this triangle 10 30 degree will be perpendicular by base so h by x 10 30 is 1 by root 3 equal to h by x right so this x will be equal to root 3 h now you can put h as 100 minus x or you can do one more thing because uh, the height has to be find out uh, has to be found out so let us eliminate x so x will be equal to this x will be equal to 100 minus h right so put uh, x as 100 minus h 100 minus h equal to root 3 h now bring it here 100 will be equal to root 3 h plus h so it will be h root 3 plus 1 100 now bring it down so h will be equal to 100 by root 3 plus 1 now we can't leave this root 3 plus 1 in the denominator so we have to rationalize it so multiply root 3 minus 1 and root 3 minus 1 in the numerator and denominator so this root 3 plus 1 and root 3 minus 1 this is a plus b a minus b so you will get root 3 whole square minus 1 square so will be 3 minus 1 that is 2 so this you will get as 2 so when you get this as 2 so 2 50s are this will be 50 and root 3 minus 1 so this is your answer the angle of elevation of top of a hill at the foot of a tower is 60 degree and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the hill is 30 degree if the tower is 50 meter high what is the height of the hill okay so we have two things the angle of elevation of top of a hill at the foot of the tower is 60 degree so one will be smaller of course and one will be the higher one so angle of elevation of top of a hill at the foot of the tower from here to here it is 60 degree and the angle of elevation of top of a tower from the foot of the hill is 30 degree it is 30 degree so assuming that the angle of elevation of top of a hill at the foot of the tower so this is tower and this is hill so just uh, you know we are going through with the flow of the question so we'll see whether we are doing it right or not now the angle of elevation of the of the tower from the foot of, foot of the hill so from the foot of the hill the the elevation is 30 degree if the tower is 50 meter high so this is 50 meter we have to find out the height of the hill so this is whole height 
So let us assume this to be say 50 because this will be 50. So this will be 50. So let us assume this, this to be H. This is the this is capital H is for the hill. The small h we are taking it for the height. So we'll, we are taking this triangle first and we are assuming that distance between them is x. So I am taking this triangle first. So 10, 30 will be 50 by x. So 10, 30 is 1 by root 3, 50 by x, x will be equal to 50 root 3. This is your first equation. Now coming to this one, second triangle. So what do you get? 10, 60 degree will be equal to, now this whole we don't know, so we have to add this h plus 50 by, now again x, because this whole triangle x is there. Because we have to find the height of the tower, so we are going to eliminate this x. 10, 60 is root 3, h plus 50, and x will write as 50 root 3. Multiply it here. So this will be equal to 50 root 3 into root 3 is what? 50 root 3 into root 3 equal to h plus 50. Root 3 root 3 is 3. 3 into 50 is 150. Bring it here. h will be equal to 100. This is your answer. A fire in a building B is reported on a telephone to two fire station P and Q which are 2 or it's 20, 20 kilometer apart from each other on a straight road. P observes the fire is at an angle of 60 degree to the road and Q observes that it is at an angle of 45 degree to the road. Which station sends its team and how much will this team have to travel? So the scenario here is there is a fire on the top of a building. Say here fire is. Now there are two They are, are two fire stations and they are 20 kilometers apart from here to here. One sees the angle of elevation of that fire to be 60 degree and others, other one 45 degree. Now which uh, station sends a team and how much will this team have to travel? So for we, this we have to assume this to be H. Now let us say that this is x so this will be 20 minus x okay because this is whole is 20 so first is let us take uh, this triangle that is this triangle then this 10 45 degree will be equal to h by 20 minus x h by 20 minus x so this is first y because 10 45 is 1 so 20 minus x will be h. We are going to use this equation shortly. Now for the this triangle, that, that is this one, this one triangle, 10, 60 degree will be equal to perpendicular by base, h by x. So we have to find out the uh, which station and how much will this team have to travel. So we, we are not being asked about the height. So we will try to eliminate this h 1060 is root 3 x goes here h is 20 minus x so what do we get i bring it here so it should be x root 3 plus 1 equal to 20 x will be equal to 20 by root 3 plus x root 3 plus 1 okay so let us multiply the numerator and denominator this is 20 ha huh, numerator denominator by root 3 this is x root 3 i brought it here root 3 plus 1 20 so root 3 minus 1 root 3 minus 1 let us multiply this so what do we get we get uh, this is 40, 45 degree and h by 20 minus x so 20 minus x we put in here then 60 is root 3 so this will be root 3x equal to 20 minus x so all is good uh, this will be 20 root 3 minus 1 and what do we get here root 3 minus 1 and root 3 plus 1 this is root 3 whole square minus 1 whole square that is 3 minus 1 that is going to be 2 so this is 2 so 10 so it is 10 root 3 minus 1 this is the x 
So this is the distance from first point, say it is P and this is Q. First point from here to here it is 10 root 3 minus 1. In order to find this one, let us subtract this 20 minus 10 root 3 minus 10. I just multiplied it inside and then I subtracted. So 20 minus 10 root 3 plus 10. So this is going to be 20, 20 minus root 3 plus 10. So this will be 30 minus 10 root 3. Let me take uh, 10 outside. So it will be 3 minus root 3. So this distance is 10, 3 minus root 3. So this is, you can put root 3 as 1.732 and you can get these two answers. So first one is this one that is 10, 3 minus root 3, the, this, this one. And the other one is 10, 3 minus root 3. So this is 10, 3 minus root 3 and this is, this one is the 10 root 3 minus 1. So you can just always use root 3 as 1.732 here or here and then you can find out the value in decimals also. A man on the deck of a ship is 10 meter above the water level. He observes the angle of elevation of top of a cliff is 45 degree and the angle of depression of the base is 30 degree. Calculate the distance of the cliff from the ship and the height of the cliff. So a gentleman is standing here. What he sees, uh, let me show you what is happening. That guy is standing here and then this is 10 meter. Now he sees up. So angle of elevation of this uh, cliff is 45 degree. Now he looks down. So angle of depression is 30 degree. This is 30 degree. So this will be 30 degree. So we have to find out the, uh, calculate the distance uh, of the ship from the cliff. So x we have to find this is x. This one would be x2. So this is 10, this is 10, let us assume it to be h, this to be h. So we will find out this h, we can assume it to be a also, it doesn't matter. Ultimately when you have to find out the height, you have to add, add this h and 10. So let us start with this one, first triangle. So here 10, 45 will be equal to h by x. So what do we get? h equal to x because 20, 10, 45 is 1. So this is our first equation. Now coming to this triangle. 10, 30 degree is 10 by x, 10 by x. So what do we get? 10, 30 is 1 by root 3, equal to 10 by x. So x is 10 root 3. So this is the answer and because h is also this one, so both of this is 10 root 3. And uh, now since uh, h is also this and x is this, we have to find the whole height. For that I have to add a 10 to h. So this height or actual capital H, let me tell you this I have taken as capital H. Capital H will be h plus 10 and this is going to be 10 root 3 plus 10. So just take 10 outside, it will be root 3 plus 1. So this is the answer, 10 root 3 plus 1. There are two temples on each bank of river opposite to each other. One temple is 50 meter high. From the top of this temple, so there is a temple which is 50 meter high. From the top of this temple, the angle of depression of top and bottom of, of other temples. So the other temple is this one. Angle of depression of top and bottom. That is this is 30 degree and this will be equal to 60 degree. Okay. No, this, one. this one will be 60 degree. So this is 30 and this is 60. So this will also be 30 and this will be equal to 60. This hole is 50. Find the width of the river and the height of the other temple. So let us assume it to be say, say h. Okay. So when this is h, this will be 50 minus h. So this is the width of the river. So let us take first this triangle. This one, 10, thir 10, 30 will be equal to 50 minus h by x. This is 50 minus h perpendicular and x is base. 10, 30 is root 3, uh, 1 by root 3. This 50 minus h by x. What do we get? We get x equal to 50 minus h root 3. Right? Here see. 
this is 1 by root 3 and we multiply this. So, what do we get? What do we get? 50 root 3 minus h root 3. I bring it here. So, this is x plus h root 3 equal to 50 root 3. x I take common 1 plus root 3 equal to 50 root 3. So, x is equal to 50 root 3. Uh, no, there is a relationship between x and h because we have uh, x root 3 x also. right? So, we have this 50 minus x root 3 x. This is root 3 x. So, there will be a relationship between this one. So, I am just adding x here. I can just, I can't just bring it here because this, this is x and this is h. So, there will be a relationship between x and h. I am going to use it later on. Right. First, I am, uh, I will just try to find out what formula or what relationship I get so that I can use it here. Ultimately, let me just say that this is x equal to root 3. 50 minus h. Let us, uh, you know, count down to here. Now, coming to this 60 degree, this 10 60 degree will be equal to h. This whole is h, that is 50. This whole is 50, 50 by x. So, we get that direct value from here. 10 60 is root 3, 50 by x. So, x will be equal to 50 by root 3. This is the second equation we got. This is the first equation. So, now the distance between these two are 50 by root 3. You can just multiply root 3 root 3 in the numerator denominator then also it is okay. But this is also fine. But here uh, in order to find h what, what do we get from here? This will be see this will be x by root 3 will be equal to 50 minus h. So, in order to find out h what, what are you going to do? h will be equal to 50 minus x by root 3, but x is 50 by root 3. So, what do we get here? h is 50 minus x is 50 by root 3 and root 3 is already there. So, root 3 into root 3 is 3, 50 minus 50 by 3. So, what do we get? 50, 1 minus 1 by 3, that is 50 into 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 1, that is 2 by 3. So, this is 100 by 3. So, this is the answer. This is height is 100 by 3 and the x is 50 by root 3. The angle of elevation of a plane from a point on the ground is 45 degree. After a flight of 15 seconds, the elevation changes to 30 degree. If the airplane is flying at a, at a height of uh, 3000 meters, find the speed of the airplane. So, just remember that speed equal to distance upon time. This is what we are going to use it here. So, there is an angle, the angle of elevation of an airplane from a point on the, for, on the ground is 45 degree. So, this bigger angle is 45 degree. The airplane is here right now at this point. For, after 15 seconds, it has moved to this position B. And now the angle has changed to 30 degree. So, angle will be reduced to 30 degree. If the airplane is flying at a height of 3000, so this will be 3000 from here to here. So, this will also be 3000. Find the speed of the airplane. So, first we will take this triangle which is 45 degree. That means this triangle. Okay. Now, what the thing is that let us assume this to be x from here to here. And this will be say y. Okay, I'll tell you how to, um, you know, how we are going to go along with this. So, this from here to here it is 6, uh, x and from here to here it is y. So, I'm taking this triangle of with angle as 45 degree. So, 10 45 degree will be equal to perpendicular that is 3000 by base which is x. So, 10 45 is 1, so x will be equal to 3000. So, this is 3000. Now, coming to this bigger triangle or, or the larger triangle which is having 60 degree. So, this is perpendicular, this is base. So, 10, 30 degree will be perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is again 3000. This is 3000 by base. And what is the base? Base is x plus y. Whole x plus y. x is 3000. So, we will just write 3000 plus y. And 10, oh, this 10, 30 degree. 
is 1 by root 3. This is 3000 by 3000 plus y. So what do we get? 3000 plus y equal to, I am cross multiplying, equal to 3000 root 3. So in order to get y, I have to take this 3000 on this side. So y will be equal to 3000. I am taking 3000 outside. This will be root 3 and when minus 3000 comes here, it will be 3000 root 3 inside and minus 1. Right. Now, the thing is that this is the distance y which the airplane has covered in 50 minutes. So, distance is this one, time is this one. So, we have to find out the speed. So, speed will be simply this y distance divided by the time. This is distance, this is time. So, I divide it by 50. So, this is what we have to do. So, 15, 2 is a 30, 200. This is going to be 200 root 3 minus 1. So, 200 root 3 is 1.732 minus 1. So, this will be 200 into 0 0.732 and this is going to be 146.4 meter per second because this is in meter, this is meter and this is in second. So, it would be meter per second. An airplane uh, flying horizontally 1 kilometer above the ground is observed at an angle of 60 degree. After 10 seconds, its elevation is observed to be 30 degree. Find the speed of the airplane in kilometer an hour. Now the same thing is happening only the thing is that we have we are given 10 seconds so we have to convert it into hour. This is the only change from the previous question to this question. Again let me tell you the, the scenario is here that an aeroplane is here. This is the ground. So see it is above the ground. This is 1 kilometer from here to here it is 1 kilometer. Now the angle of elevation is 60 degree in this case. But in 10 seconds, it has flown and it has come to this position. Now, the angle of elevation will become 30 degree. The height remains the same. This is 1 kilometer. So, same thing we have to do. Let us assume this to be x and this to be y. So, ultimately, this y is the distance of our concern. We will divide it by the time, 10 seconds and we will try to find out the speed. So, first, let us take this triangle 60 degree. Okay. So, 10, 60 degree. Is perpendicular by base 1 kilometer by base x 1060 is what root 3 into 1 by x so x is 1 by root 3 this we got x now coming to the bigger triangle this one so 1030 is perpendicular by base again this will remain as 1 and this will be x plus y but x is what 1 plus 1 by root 3 so I am just writing x plus y so x is 1 by root 3 and y is y now, 1030 is what? 1030 is 1 by root 3. So this is going to be 1 by 1 by root 3 plus y. I am taking this one cross multiplying. So, 1 by root 3 plus y is equal to 1 by 1 by root 3 plus y is equal to root 3. So, y will be equal to root 3 minus 1 by root 3. So, what do we get from here? Root 3 into root 3 is 3 minus 1 by root 3. So, you get 2 by root 3. So, 2 by root 3 is the distance. Now, what is the speed? It is distance by time. Distance is 2 by root 3. Time is what? Time is 10 seconds, but we have to find it find it in hour. So, 10 seconds, in, in order to convert this into hour, I have to divide it by 60 minutes and then 60 seconds. In, in one hour, there are 60 minutes and in 1 minute there are 60 seconds. So, in order to convert an hour into second, I have to divide it by 60 by 60. So, what do we get? 2 by root 3 divided by 10 by, this is 3600. The 60, okay. So, what do we get? 2 by root 3 into 3600 by 10. So, here 10, 10 and this is uh, root 3. Multiply root 3, root 3, numerator, denominator, okay root 3 by root 3, root 3 by root 3. So, what do you get? You get 3 here. So, 3 twelves are 120. 2 into 120 is 240 and this is root 3. On a horizontal plane, so here is a tree. This is a tree from here to here. Okay, this is a tree standing on a horizontal plane and it is leaning towards east. So, it is leaning towards east. It's not straight, it is leaning. So, at two points situated at a distance of A and B exactly due west. 
So here is a point, this one. So it is at a distance of A. So this is not A. From here to here, it is A. And the second one, this is the point. So there are two points at A and B distance. So from here to here, it is B. From this point to this point, it is B. From this point to this point, it is A. From here to here, it is A. From here to here, it is B. The angles of elevation are alpha and beta. So here it is alpha and here it is beta. Prove that the height of the top of the ground or height from the top of the ground. So this is this is the tree leaning and this is the height. This is the height we are talking about H. So this is what H needs to be known. And this has to be this one. We have to prove this. So let us take this as say X from here to here. So I am taking the first triangle that is this alpha. So I am taking this triangle, this triangle. So 10 alpha will be what? Perpendicular that is H by base. So we are taking alpha so we have to take this one. This is A and this is X. So X plus A. So what do we get? X plus A equal to H by 10 alpha. This is our first equation. Now coming to this one, this triangle bigger triangle this triangle so we have beta here so now taking 10 beta now 10 beta will be perpendicular that is h by base base is what this is x and this is b so b plus x this is b and this is x so b plus x what do you get b plus x equal to h by 10 beta so here in the question it is being asked b minus a so let us take this one Say second one and the first one. So what we have to do? 2 minus 1 we have to do because we need B minus A. So this B plus X minus X, this A plus X. This is equal to this H by 10 beta minus H by 10 alpha. This, this minus this is this minus this. So B plus X minus this is B plus X minus A minus X. So this goes B minus A. This will be B minus A. And this will be what? Take H as common. What do you get inside? 1 by 10 beta minus 1 by 10 alpha. So what do you get here? 10 alpha minus 10 beta by 10 alpha 10 beta. This is B minus A. So in order to find H, what we have to do? We have to multiply this is b minus a cross multiply b minus a with 10 alpha 10 beta so what do you get b minus a 10 alpha 10 beta in the denominator it is 10 alpha minus 10 beta so 10 alpha minus 10 beta this is h and this is what is being sought so this is what we got the angle of elevation of a stationary cloud from a point 2500 above a lake is 15 degree is 15 degree and the angle of uh, depression of its reflection in its in the lake is 45 degree is 45 degree so what is the height of the cloud above the lake level about the lake level so what we have to do here is first of all let us understand that if this is a lake so this is a lake then the angle of depression of a stationary cloud from a point which is 2500 above the lake so this is 2500 here is a cloud. Now the please understand that the uh, reflection will always be at the same distance. So this distance will be same as this distance. This is the only concept in this question. This distance has to be equal to this distance because the reflection will always be this will be equal to this. So here is the reflection of cloud. Now angle of elevation of stationary cloud. So let us make a horizontal. This is the angle of elevation. This is given as 15 degree. This is given as 15 degree. Then we have the other one which is 45 degree is the depression. 45 degree is the depression angle. So how do we do it? This is depression angle. So this is the depression angle. This is 45 degree. 45 degree. What is the height of the cloud above the lake? So this is 2500. So let us make it as 2500 too. And this is what? This is H. 
So this is H plus 2500. This is H. This is 2500. So what this will be? This will be 20. This is will be H plus 2500. Because this length from here to here has to be equal to this to this. That is the main concern. Okay. Now coming to the triangles. First, I'll take this triangle. Let us assume that the distance between them is x. So first I am taking this triangle, okay, triangle PCQ. So PCQ, what do we get? We get tan 15 degree equal to this perpendicular by base, so h by x, h by x. So let it be here, 10, 45 degree, 10, 40, 15 degree will be what? So I will take 15 and take the tan of it. So it will be tan. We have to take the tan of this. So let it be here. I just go to the second one. Then I will take the actual values. So now I'm coming to this triangle. Triangle P Q C. This triangle. P Q C. So what do we get? 1045 is equal to this. 1045 will be perpendicular by base perpendicular by base perpendicular is what this is 2500 this is 2500 plus h so it will be 2500 plus 2500 plus h perpendicular by base what is base x this is base x so 1045 degree is 1 so we can just say x will be equal to 2500 plus 2500 is 5000 5000 plus h so this is our first equation this is our second equation first equation was first i have to find Tan 15 degree. So tan 15 degree will be what? It is h will be equal to uh, this. This will be 0 0.2679. This will be 0 point tan 40, 14 degree uh, tan 15 degrees 0 0.2679 and this will be x. H will be this one. So in order to find the uh, x, because we have to eliminate x, so x will be equal to h by 0 0.2679, right? So let us take uh, 1 by x of this. So we get 0, this will be 1 by x will be 3.73. So this will be x will be equal to 3.73 h. I am putting it here. x is 3.73 h equal to 5000 plus h. I hope you got the idea. x is x is h by this one. So I took this as invert inversion that is 1 by 0 0.26 it is 3.73. Now bring it here. So this will be 3.73 h minus h equal to 5000. So this will be equal to 3.73 minus 1. So it will be 2.73 h equal to 5000. So what will be h? 5000 by 2.73. So I'm just computing it. It is uh, 5000 and divided by we have 2.73 2.73 and this is going to be 1831 this is going to be 1831 meter so h is what 1831 and what is the height above the height of the cloud above the lake level it is h plus 2500 this h we have computed we have to add 2500 just add 2500 what do we get we add 2500 so what do we get? We get this as 1, 3 and this is again 3 and this is 2, 3, 4. So 4, 3, 3, 1, 0 0.50. This is your answer. This is the height of the cloud above the, this lake level. If the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meter above a lake is alpha and the angle of depression of its reflection in the lake is beta prove that the distance of the cloud from the point of observation is 2h sec alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha. So what uh, we are going to do here is, see, first of all, the angle of elevation is given as alpha, the angle of depression is given as beta. And uh, we'll assume this height, it is given as h, right, this h is given. So this will also be h. So we take it as x now from here to here. So as with the previous logic, the reflection will be exactly equal to this one. So this from here to here, it will be h plus x. 
It seems to be by diagram that is it is less, but it is not. It has to be equal to h plus x. Just to make a diagram a little um, smaller, we have done this. So h plus x is this one. This is h plus x. But let us take this as x. Oh, sorry, y here. From here to here. This will also be y from here to here. What is now tan alpha? Tan alpha. Tan alpha will be what? Tan alpha will be x by y. This is our first equation. Now coming to n beta. Tan beta will be what? It will be h plus x, h plus h plus x, that is this one and this one. So this is a whole one. It will be h plus h plus x by y. So y from here, what is what do you get? Y equal to x by 10 alpha. From here, what do you get? Y equal to h plus s, h is 2h, 2h plus x by 2h plus x by tan beta. So this is first, this is first, this is second. So this is first and this is second. Now equate them because both are y. So x by tan alpha equal to 2h plus x by tan beta. This is what you get, right? So we, in order to get this x, let me take these separately. That is, this will be 2h by tan beta minus x by, uh, plus x by tan, tan beta. Now I'm taking this one. I, I wrote this as this one. Now I'm taking this x here. So it will be x by tan alpha minus x by tan beta equal to 2h by tan beta. So here let me take x as common. x as common. So you get prove that the distance of the cloud from the point of observation. So th this is I have to eliminate x. So I have to get 2h because this is the prove the distance of the cloud from the point of observation. Okay. Now we have to find this one. This one. Right. So now let me take because this distance has to be found out. So here we have this one say I am taking it as some k. Right. So what this will this shows this is our k. This is our hypotenuse and this is our base. This is our base. So hypotenuse by base. So I will I'm taking cos alpha here is base upon hypotenuse that is y upon hypotenuse that is k. So k we have to find out. So k can be written as what? k can be written as y by cos alpha that is y sec alpha. y sec alpha. So what I'm trying to do here is see y is sec alpha y is sec alpha so i'll put y as sec alpha here and i'm trying i will eliminate the x so here i'll put this as k this is k as y sec alpha so i'm, I'm going to put y as y as k sec k is cos alpha sorry y as k cos alpha so i'm putting it as y as k cos alpha equal to x by tan alpha in this equation i'm not going to do this and in this equation, this equation, what I'm going to do? Y equal to 2h plus x by tan, tan beta. So y can be written as k cos alpha. Again, this is 2h plus x by tan beta. Okay. Now, I, what we need this k. We need this k. This is cos alpha and this is cos alpha. We need this k. So in order to get this k, we need to eliminate the x. So what is this showing? This will sh this will be showing x equal to uh, k k cos alpha tan alpha, and what this is going to gi give us x will be equal to say k cos alpha into tan beta, k cos alpha into tan beta, and then we have this multiplied, and now we have to take two h also here. 2h also is so it will be minus 2h. Now we have to equate these two because x x now we have to equate this. So we have k cos alpha tan alpha equal to k cos alpha tan beta minus 2h. Okay. Now I have to find out this k. So I'm bringing this k here and taking this 2h here. 2h will be equal to this is k cos beta 
cos cos alpha k cos alpha and this is tan beta so tan beta and here i am bringing it so i am taking this k as common so we have cos alpha tan beta here we have cos alpha and tan alpha so i can take this cos alpha cos also alpha also common so this would be let me do it here so 2h will be equal to k this is k cos alpha also i am taking outside cos alpha this is tan beta minus tan alpha so in order to get this k what are we going to do we are taking everything on the down so this k will be equal to 2h by cos alpha so cos alpha when it, it goes there i can write it as sec alpha so this will be sec alpha i'm taking it up on the numerator cos alpha i'm taking it up what is the denominator it is tan beta minus tan alpha this is the answer and this is what is being asked 2h sec alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha so the first thing which i did it was just a trial but this this uh, steps because I, I actually came to know when I did this that okay we have to find this one so I just change my track this is how we have to do it from an airplane vertically above a straight horizontal road the angle of depression of two consecutive two consecutive milestones are opposite on the opposite side of the airplane are observed to be alpha and beta show that the height in miles of aeroplane above their road is given by this number. So here we have this aeroplane. Here we have two two points, and these are one miles apart because they are they are showing the consecutive milestones. So from here to here, the distance between them are one mile. So if I take this as x, this will be one minus x. I'm taking this distance as x, so it will be one minus x. So this is alpha. This is beta. This is the aeroplane. So let us take this triangle first. So tan alpha will be equal to what? It will be tan alpha will be equal to h by x. And here second second one we are taking tan beta will be equal to h by 1 minus x. Now we have to find out h, so I we have to eliminate the x one. So x uh, is x can be written as h by tan alpha here. Here I can write tan beta, tan beta into 1 minus x equal to h. In place of x, I am putting now h by tan alpha. So this will be tan beta, 1 minus h by tan alpha. 1 minus h by tan alpha equal to h. This will be tan beta minus h tan beta by tan alpha equal to h. But here we have h, so I have to bring it here. So tan beta equal to h plus h tan beta by tan alpha h i'm taking common so this will be 1 plus tan beta by tan alpha so this is going to be tan alpha plus tan beta that is tan alpha plus tan beta by tan alpha but we have tan beta here so i'm cross multiplying this is tan beta tan alpha so tan beta tan alpha will be equal to h this is tan alpha plus tan beta so i'm putting it here tan alpha plus tan beta this is h and this is what we have to find out this is the answer pq is a post is a post given height a so this is a post of height a meter and ab is a tower so this is a tower at the at uh, is a tower at some distance if x if alpha and beta this is alpha and this is beta are the angle of elevation of b from the uh, the top of the tower and p and q this respectively so p is having alpha as the angle angle of elevation you can say and angle of uh, elevation from q is this beta find the height of the tower and the distance between the post so the height of the tower this will be a this will be h let us assume it to be h so this is x So let us take this one, first one, that is this triangle I'm taking, this triangle. So tan beta will be equal to h by x. Coming to this triangle, this will be tan alpha, it is going to be h plus a 
by x. So in order to find uh, say x, because we have to find out the height of the tower and, and distance also, x and h both have to be found, found out. So hi, let us say that h is x tan beta and I'm putting x here. This would be x tan alpha equal to h is x tan beta plus a. So I'm taking it here now, x, I'm taking common, so tan alpha minus tan beta. This I took, x I took common, so tan alpha minus tan beta equal to a. So x will be equal to a by tan alpha minus tan beta. So this is your x, this is your x, a by tan alpha minus tan beta, that is, that is the distance between them. And now coming to the h one, so h is x tan, tan beta. So h will be equal to this a by tan alpha minus tan beta into this tan beta, tan beta. So a tan beta by tan alpha minus tan beta, so a tan beta, this is beta. a tan beta by tan alpha minus tan beta is the is the answer of this height. A ladder rests against a wall at an angle of alpha to the horizontal. So there is a ladder here. It is making an angle of alpha to the horizontal. It's, if its uh, foot is pulled away from the wall, so its foot is put away or pulled away from the wall through distance A, so that it slides a distance B down the wall. So now when it is pushed A, this B, it comes down B. That means you have this one, a ladder. Now it is pushed down, so it will go like this. This is A and this is B. This is angle uh, alpha and this is angle beta. Show that A by B is cos alpha minus cos beta by sine of beta minus sine alpha. So first of all, what we are going to do? See, we'll try to find out sine alpha here, sine alpha. Let us take this as x and this is y. This is x and this is y. So what will be tan alpha? Tan alpha will be perpendicular by base. So tan alpha will be equal to b plus y by x. This is our first equation. Coming to tan beta. Oh no, we don't have to take tan. See, because we have to, we have a height. It is given in the question. Right? We have a height. So we can just take it as, as h and then we can try to eliminate it. Because a and b are given h, h can be eliminated. So let us see what we do. We will try to find out the sin alpha. Sin alpha is what? Perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So this is perpendicular b plus y this is b plus y upon hypotenuse that is h. This is sin alpha. What is cos alpha? Base upon hypotenuse for same thing. Base is x, hypotenuse is h. This is first first one. Coming to second triangle, what is the sine beta? See this triangle I am taking. Sine beta or sine beta is a perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Perpendicular is this y, only y by hypotenuse that is h. This remains as, as h here also. And what is cos beta? It is going to be a base upon hypotenuse. So what is the base? Base is a plus x by hypotenuse that is h. Okay, now let us take sine alpha minus, that is this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. So I am taking 1 minus, 1 minus 3, so 1 minus 3 I am taking. So sine alpha minus sine beta will be what? B plus y, that is B by h plus y by h, this can be written as B by h plus y by h minus this y by h. This gets cancelled, it will be b by h. It will be b by h. So sin alpha minus sin beta is b by h. B by h. Now coming to this one, now I am doing this uh, 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 I am doing. So 4 minus 2 is this uh, cos beta minus cos alpha. This is going to be equal to a plus x by h. I can write it as a by h plus x by h minus x by h. See, this gets cancelled. So, it will be a by h cos beta minus cos alpha equal to a by h. Now, I am, this is say 5 and this is 6. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to divide these two. 
that is 6 by 5 I am going to do. So this is cos beta minus cos alpha minus sin alpha minus sin beta that is this one divided by this one and this is going to be a by h equal to a by h by b by h. So a by h by b, b by h, h h gets cancelled it will be a by b. And this is exactly what we wanted. This is what is this. So this is cos beta minus cos alpha by sin beta minus sin alpha equal to a by b. A tower subtend an angle alpha at a point A in the plane of its base and the angle if the pressure of the foot of the tower at a point B meters just above A is beta. Prove that the height of the tower is B tan alpha cot beta. So the scenario here is there is a tower. There is a tower. It substance an angle alpha at a point A in the plane of its base and the angle of depression, angle if depression of the foot of the tower at a point B just B meter just above A. So here is A and this tower subtend an angle of alpha at A in the plane of its base. This is angle alpha and the angle of depression of the foot of the tower at a point B. So this is B just above A. So this is A just above A this one and this is the angle of depression. This is beta actually. So, with the uh, diagram, this will also be beta. And this height is what? This height is at a point B meters above. So, this is B. We have to prove that the height of the tower is this much. So, if this is B, this will also be B. And this, let us take it as H. Why? We'll, uh, we are going to add, add H with B so that this height of the tower can be found out. So first we are going to take this triangle say this one and let us assume that this distance between them is x. So this will be also x. First I am going to take this triangle so tan, uh, tan beta. So tan beta is going to be b by x, b by x. So I will use this equation somewhere in the coming uh, equation. So the second one. We are going to take this this triangle with angle alpha. Now tan alpha is going to be h plus b. So I have to take both, both of these. So h plus b. And of course h plus b is the height. Please remember h plus b is the height. So h plus b by x. So what I can do? I can just uh, divide these two. Right? I can divide uh, 2 by 1. So what do I get? I get here tan alpha divided by 10 beta equal to h plus b by b h plus b by b now this can be written as this can be written as h plus b by b can be written as h by b plus b by b and this is going to be 1 so it can be written as h by b plus 1 now i'm taking this one here right so this will be h by b equal to this will be 10 alpha by 10 beta minus 1 so it will be 10 alpha minus 10 beta, 10 alpha minus 10 beta by 10 beta. This is what you are going to get and just multiply this with h. h will be what? h is 10 alpha minus 10 beta by 10 beta into b. So this is the height but we have to add, we have to add this b also to this height. So let me add a b, let me add a b. So this will be equal to, I am taking b outside, this will be 10 alpha minus 10 beta by 10 beta plus 1. This is going to be b, 10 alpha minus 10 beta plus 10 beta by 10 beta. This gets cancelled, 10 beta, 10 beta gets cancelled and this is going to be b, 10 alpha by 10 beta. But if you see, I can write this 10 beta 1 by 10 theta is what? Is cot theta. 1 by 10 beta I can write it as, this remains same, this remains same, P 10 alpha. And this 10 beta can be written as cot beta. So this is your H plus B, that is your capital height H. This is capital H, this is the B 10 alpha cot beta which is what was wanted. An observer 1.5 meter tall. So there is an observer who is 1.5 meter tall. He is there. 
is 28.5 meter away from a tower 30 meter high. So this is 30 meter height and he is 28.5 meter distance from this. So this is also 28.5. To determine the angle of elevation of top of the tower from his eye. So this angle we have to find out because if I can make a horizontal, this is the angle of elevation, this theta we have to find out. Okay. So let me draw it again. We don't have to worry about anything. Why? Because there is a guy, he sees at an angle theta. This distance is 28.5. This distance is 28.5. This is 1.5. So this will also be 1.5. And this whole distance is 30. So 30, this will be what? 30 minus 1.5. That is 28.5. 30 minus 1.5 is 28.5. This is the this height you can say, this one. And this is the 28.5. So if I take this triangle, 10 theta. Is equal to 28.5 by 28.5. So 28.5 by 28.5, which is essentially equal to 1. 10 theta is 1. So theta is equal to 10 inverse 1. And this is going to be 45 degrees. This angle of elevation is 45 degrees. A carpenter makes tools for electricians with a square top of side 0 0.5 meter. So there is a tool. And the side is 0.5, all the sides are 0.5 meter. And at a height of 1.5 meter above. So I'm just taking the top view of the ground. So this height from here to here, A, C, E, and B, D, you see this, this height is given as 1.5. Also, each leg is inclined at an angle of 60 degree from the ground. So these are the legs. Let me make it as top view. These are four legs. And if you see, these are the two legs, if you see from the front. If you see from the front, these are the legs. Now, coming to the next one, that is, find the length of each leg. So, we have to find the, each of the leg, that is this distance we have to find. This distance we have to find. And uh, also the legs of two steps to be put at an equal distance. So, we have to put some legs here. One leg, two leg. That is one leg, two leg, one leg, two leg, one leg, two leg. So this is how if you see from here it will be seen like this so we have to find out this length so this length whole and this length we have to find out so what are we going to do first of all see i'm joining these and this angle is 60 degree given means from here to here this angle if i if i can draw it because it is always good to draw in the front view so this is 60 degree this is also 60 degree, this is also 60 degree, this is also 60 degree. Now, in order to find out this side, what we can do? Because this is 1.5, this is 1.5, right? So, I can do, this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse. So, I can write sine 60, sine 60 as this 1.5, this height is 1.5, right? By hypotenuse, that is AE. Let me take it as the length. So sine 60 is what root 3 by 2. Sine 60 is root 3 by 2. If I can just write the value say uh, 60 sine. So this, it will be equal to AC I can write it as sine 60. So 60 and sine of this angle. Okay. It is root 3 by 2. Let it be like this. Since this will be 1.5 by L. L will be equal to 2 into 1.5. That is 3. I was just trying to you know find out this value, but it doesn't matter because we are going to deal with the others also. So it is going to 2, 2 into 1.5. That is 3 by root 3. L will be equal to 3 by root 3. Let it be like this. So length has uh, we have uh, got the length. You can just multiply root root 3 in numerator and denominator. So what do you get? 3 root 3 by 3. So it is actually root 3. This is root 3. So it is a 1.732. Okay. So this uh, length we, we have got. Now take this triangle, small triangle. If you see these are at equal distance. This is 0.5, this is 0.5, this is 0.5. I'm saying that from here to here it is 1.5. And we have to put it at the equal distance. So this is equal distance. So this will be 0 0.5. This will be 0 0.5. This will be 0 0.5. First, I am taking this triangle. And by the by the 
uh, corresponding angle if i have say parallel and i if i draw a transversal this angle this angle this angle will be equal because they, these are corresponding angles so this is 60 this is 60 this is 60 now i am taking this one this triangle and the bigger triangle the bigger triangle and this triangle so i am using the similar triangle uh, theory so what will be this this that is ah by whole ac I am taking triangle AGH and AEC. AGH and AEC. So AH by AC will be equal to this will be equal to this GH by EC. Now the, the question arises is we have to find this EC also. Because until and unless we know this EC, we won't be able to solve it. So for finding this EC, let me take this as 10, 60 is equal to this whole height, which is 1.5 by base, that is EC. So EC is what? This is 10, 60 is root 3. So 1.5 by root 3. This is going to be 1.5 into, I am multiplying numerator and denominator by root 3. This is going to be 1.5 root 3 by 3. And this is going to be 3, 5 is a 15. So it will be 0 0.5 root 3 EC. This EC will be 0 0.5 root 3. Okay. Now AH, this is what? As I said, this is 0.5. So 0 0.5 by AC is what? 1.5 whole. GH, we don't know GH. But EC we know. EC we know that is this is 0 0.5 root 3. So GH will be equal to 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 root 3. I'm cross multiplying. 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 root 3 by 1.5. So this is GH. But if you see this GH and this GH, they are same. This GH and this this GH and this TU are same by similar similarity. So I have to multiply it by 2. I have to multiply it by 2. And then this HT, which is given as this one, 0 0.5, I have to add. So I have to, if I have to find out GU, I have to add GH plus TU plus HT. So into 2 plus 0 0.5. This is GH, right? First one is this one. So, in order to find this out, let me take if I can cancel something. So, I'll just uh, multiply this and write the result. So, this is 0 0.5 into 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 is equal to this is 0.25. Now, I'm multiplying it by, by 1.732. So, multiplied by 1.5. 732 and this is going to be 0 0.4 this is going to be 0 0.433 now i'm dividing it by 1.5 so i'm dividing it by 1.5 and this is going to be 0 0.2886 and now i have to multiply it by 2 because 2 is also here into 2 this is going to be 0 0.5773 and now adding 0 0.5 so plus 0 0.5 so this is going to be 1.077. This is the whole, this one, GU. So GU is this. I hope you got the idea. Now coming to the second part. That is this one. Now I'm taking this triangle and the bigger triangle, which we took already. So I'm not taking APQ and AEC. So APQ that is this triangle. So PQ by EC is equal to PQ by EC is equal to PQ by AC is equal to AQ AQ by AC. So PQ uh, we don't know. We have to find out. So PQ will be uh, we don't know. And this EC EC we know. This is zero point five root 3. AQ, AQ is known. See from here to here it is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 that is 1. And AC, this whole is from here to here it is 1.5. 1.5. So PQ will be equal to 0 0.5 root 3 by 1.5. But this is PQ. So I have to find RS also. So let us multiply it by 2. And then I have to add this 0 0.5 also. So just add 0 0.5. 
So same thing we are going to do. Let me do it again, and I'll tell you each each in uh, each aspect. So 0 0.5 into 2 will be 1. Okay, so I'll just I'm just eliminating it. Root 3 is 1.732. So 1.732 and divided by 1.5. That is divided by 1.5 will be equal to 1.154. This is going to be 1.154. Now I have to add 0.5 also. So plus 0 0.5. And this is going to be 1.654. So this is the this is PS. So PS is going to be 1.654 and GU is going to be 1.06. This is the solution. A boy is standing on a ground and flying a kite with 100 meter of string at an elevation of 30 degree. So here is a boy who is standing uh, on the ground. This is the boy who is standing in the ground. And he is flying a kite, so it is at 30 degree. And this is the string. Another boy is standing on the roof of a 10 meter high building. So there is a guy, there is a boy who is standing at 10 or over the top of 10 meter high building. And he is also flying the kite. So this, this kite he is flying and here is the other guy. Now he is making an angle of 45 degree. Elevation of kite is 45 degree. Both the boys are on the opposite side of uh, both kites. So here is one kite, the other is one kite. So they are on the opposite side. Find the length of the string that the second boy must have so that the kites meet. Because the distance or the, or the length of the string of the first guy is given. This we have to find x. So let us take it as x. Now this is 10, so this is 10. Let me tell you again. There is a person at 10 meter height. There is someone here. The kite is here, his kite. He is also flying a kite, so his kite is here. Now, let me make a line here. This is 45 degree. This will be 10. This edge, let us assume it is an edge. We want to find out x, this uh, length of this string. So, first, uh, this is 30 degree. So, in order to find out, first, we let us take it as because here it is given as 100. So, we will take the uh, C. This is perpendicular, this is hypotenuse. So, we will use sine 30 degree. So, sine 30 degree, I am taking triangle AEF. Sine 30 degree will be equal to perpendicular, that is, that is H plus 10 by base, uh, by hypotenuse. Hello. Sine 30 is half, it is half, equal to H plus 10 by 100. So, this is 50 h plus 10 is 50 this goes here h will be 40 so this height is 40 this height is 40 now coming to this triangle i'm taking this triangle now i'm taking now this this height is known and this x has to be known so this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse again we are going to use the sine 45 this will be perpendicular that is h by hypotenuse x but this h is what 40 we just got it sin 45 is 1 by root 2 h is h is what uh, h is uh, 40 by x so x will be equal to 40 root 2 this is our answer this is 40 root 2 the length of the thread or a string of boy 2 has to be 40 root 2 from the top of a lighthouse the angle of depression of two ships so here is a lighthouse here is a lighthouse the angle of depression of two ships on the opposite side of it. So, one is here, one is here. The angle of depression is this one. And this angle will be, because of the alternate angle, this will also be alpha. The, uh, this angle of depression is beta, so this will also be beta. So, alpha and beta are the angle of depression. The height of the lighthouse is h meters. So, this is the height h meters. And the line joining the two ships passes through the foot of the lighthouse. So, line joining here is passing through the foot of the lighthouse. We have to show that the distance that distance between the ships is this one. So, what we will do? We will find out x. Let it be x from here to here. And this will be y. So, we will add x and, x, x and y and then we will say that, okay, this is the distance between them. First, I will take this triangle that is PS1Q. So, 10 alpha will be equal to perpendicular by base so h by x. This is first one. So, x will be what? h by 10 alpha. In this, the second one, that is this one, 
this triangle tan beta is going to be h by y. So y will be what? h by tan beta. So you have to add this first with second because you want x plus y, right? So x plus y will be what? h by tan alpha plus h by tan beta. You can take h common, so 1 by tan alpha plus 1 by tan beta. So this is going to be tan alpha, this is tan beta plus tan alpha, that is tan alpha plus tan beta by tan alpha tan beta. 